So I'm also gonna try something out today and record simultaneously. So let's see if my puny gaming laptop can handle this. But uh, but yeah, so cool. So we have uh, we have six people on right now, which is exciting. So guys, yeah, thank you so much for joining. We're gonna get right into this, but really, you know, we have, we're, we're with a celebrity tonight, and I'm sure, you know, I've been watching Dr. Trog's streams for the past few weeks. You know, I just kind of found out about them. You know, I'm not sure, maybe through some content creator discords. Um, and yeah. your streams are so fun where you do Skyblock and you just kind of chat with your community. Well, thank you. Yeah, uh, I I try to, to stream as much as I can with everybody because, um, well, it's a great way to get feedback on the map and also to you know, just hang out with the people who um, who just like the content. Yeah, and just to get you guys know, Skyblock 4 has, on planet Minecraft, get this, has 3.4 thousand comments, over 358,000 downloads, and that's what I checked yesterday, so it could be more than that, and 2.1 million views. Gets almost 1,000 views a day. This, this person yeah. right here, they built something that a lot of people use. <laughs> Yeah, I, just, I don't like looking at those numbers. Cause they're so big now, <laughs> kind of scary. Those are it's awesome though. You should be you should be so proud, and and we as a community bow to you. But of course, Trog Thank does you. so much more than Skyblock, and we're going to talk all about that tonight. Their journey on YouTube, which you've been doing it for a while, uh, so I also want to hear about that. Um, and and yeah, we're just going to have some fun playing Adventure Map, and uh, well, not an Adventure Map, one adventure on my server. Uh, that you guys know I've been working on for a while. And yeah, uh, so I guess we we exit out that door there and, and we begin our journey. All right, so, which way? Uh, oh, that door, this that way. way, that door, yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> by the way, for those who are just joining, Trog spawned in immediately and died. Uh, so I need to work on my spawn house. <laughs> maybe a little bit maybe maybe a little bit um so so yeah so we are we are here uh in the shrouded isles and the the idea is there are two islands uh one is a flower forest and the other is a craggy peaky island over there and uh, they're very very different and the players who play on both of them are very different players as well and and the first kind of bit of instruction that you're given is to find Latrius's house. And so I think we're just going to we're going to head in this direction and I'm right. actually going to put myself in follow survival. Yeah, we'll follow follow the the beacons. And this is actually I'll be right behind you. I'm just putting myself in survival. Um so yeah, we are actually in the shopping center, shopping area of our of our little server here. And uh, there's some free food, I believe, in one of these shops, which will help both of us out because I have absolutely no gear on me. Um, it, I see you're looking at the the purple shop. I'm well, trying can... to figure out how to read it. <laughs> oh, how to read? Okay. <laughs> Wait, how to read? Oh, I'm, how to read those signs? I'm really, I'm really bad at. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it says, uh, "I'll read it for you." Then purple, purple and in perpetuity. Yeah, there's too many P's. For you. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh, I, I have mob griefing off. <laughs> OK, I I heard. Oh, no. And I didn't hear the explosion because of that. I just took damage. Yeah, let's get some food. Uh, this is a little uh, this is Al's bakery. Um, not to be confused with the evil AI. Al. We, we have inside, we need to get yeah, inside. I saw zombies. We have, we have a player on our server whose name uh, is actually Al in real life. Um, so, OK, uh, this one's steak. This one's probably the one that you want. Oh, yeah, I I'll take a few cookies, though, too. You can also cheat and just uh, and just pull it right out of the dispenser there. It's, it's what I'm going to do. I'll right. take like 16. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, we have no gear, <laughs> so that's going to be a problem. I'm, I might have to give us some iron armor. Oh, you know what? We can we can stop in the beach house and get some iron armor really quickly and then we'll be on our way. Oh, there's a okay. zombie as well. We yeah, right pop. there. That's why I closed the door. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go uh, find the beach house. Maybe maybe there's a bed there. I think there might still be. Um, so, yeah, I can give you some context on the server, and then we can start talking about, about you. Um, this server was founded during the pandemic, and uh, and basically we've been working on it for about a year and a half. Um, and it's a lot of really awesome people, my friends, all engineers, and, uh, and builders, people who just love Minecraft, and... Yeah, I mean, there are some really beautiful builds on the server, but, you know, 
uh, I, I don't let, like to let things end at just, you know, vanilla. So they're they're kind of all enhanced with commands in one way or another. There's, there's kind of a god on this server who comes around and, and sprinkles in a little bit of magic. Um, so, yeah, anyways, that's kind of the general gist of it. Let's get a little bit of sleep. Do you sleep have one player in. sleep? No? Okay. Uh, we do have one player <laughs> sleep in. Um, oh, okay. I think. <laughs> yeah, but, but that was very nice. Thank you for joining me. Is <laughs> um okay. you're gonna do it all the time yeah i got a, a quick thing with my controls i feel like my sensitivity is a little too high sounds good yeah, and while good. you do that i will check with chat here yep. um let's and see I have to disconnect real quick too okay no worries sky says celeb stream i agree i seriously oh, yeah. guys i'm a little starstruck if i'm not gonna lie he any he, i'm so starstruck that they just left. They're gone. <laughs> I did. I told you. I need to leave. I'll be back. Come on. <laughs> um, thank you, uh, Red Winter, for saying that looks amazing. I really appreciate it. Yeah, this. Uh, I, I think you're talking about the the kind of chapel slash church here. There, there's actually a cutscene inside of this uh, chapel. It's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm also so big T dyslexia. <laughs> yeah, really bad. Really bad. I, I'm learning but. something about you. Getting better. Okay. Getting better every stream. No worries. No worries. Okay. Where'd you end up? Okay. You're over here. Yeah. Uh, so I was on a stream actually with Trog the other day and I, I was just watching and somebody had mentioned that they went to watch the new Superman movie. And Trog, do you, uh, yeah. do you want to, do you want to tell the rest of the, <laughs> I, I kept saying Lewis, I kept reading Lewis instead of Lois and, uh, <laughs> Now there's a new fandom out there, and it's kind of wild. Lu yeah, founded for those, by Avid. For those of you who don't know, Lois is obviously you know Superman's Superman's squeeze. Um, and and somebody mentioned they saw the Superman movie, and uh, and Trog kept saying Lewis and and Superman. And and if you guys don't know, Yogg's cast is is Lewis and uh, and Simon. And so I made a fan fiction of how Simon and Lewis team up. To uh, to work with Superman to save the world, and also they fall in love at the same time. It's a very beautiful story. I hope to finish it. Yeah, one of <laughs> part one of ninety nine. <laughs> I will. I will finish it. It may take me a decade, but I will. <laughs> um, yeah. So is this so this is where we're supposed to go. Uh, this is where we can go. It will. It kind of gets us there. Um, so this is a little uh, chapel that I built. Um, I kind of play on survival and on creative on this server. So this was actually my survival character build. Um, yeah, and I, I can't good. can't take a lot of credit for it. Honestly, I took a lot of inspiration from somebody else's design. So, but I did find a way to plonk it in here and kind of added my own touches. And um, yeah, there's a whole cutscene and all that stuff. So <laughs> it's pretty cool in here. Lewis Lane. Yes, Snake. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, so so cool. So let's let's walk in um and talk a little bit. So I watched your very first video on your channel. Uh -huh. And OK, and I, f f you were playing Star Wars Battlefront, which. Yep. I, uh, I not remember. on my computer, <laughs> not on my computer. It was on my friend's computer because I did not have a gaming PC. Oh, um, it was. Yeah. At college, I was like. I really want to play this game. He's like, sure, here's I'll make you an account and uh, on the computer. And uh, he I, yeah, I, he gave me permission to play, which I don't know that I would have done because. Oh, are you, you doing OK? You got to. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm scary. Yeah, there you I go. was trying to like I was trying to like pan on you and I died. <laughs> almost. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Uh, yeah. So he let me play that and he let me record my first few hardcore like my first few videos were oh my actually gosh. recorded on his computer. Yeah. You started your channel, channel on somebody else's hardware. Yes. OK. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, though. I mean, what a good friend. Honestly, that's so cool. Wow. OK, so. Yeah. All right. So you, you, you started that. But I'm you mentioned in the video that it was your second it was your second channel and your prior channel was started when you were you said 11 is that right yes okay well okay so actually looking at the years i was not 11 i was 14 okay <laughs> but that was 2010 when i started the first channel wow wow okay um i i tried to find it and and it it didn't exist so is that yeah you it's so been if removed? you if you look at my 1000 uh 
my 1000 subscriber special i look mm -hmm. at my first channel and okay in the description is the link but that's the only i couldn't even find it that's the only place i could find it because i <laughs> used like a, a weird email that i don't have access oh, to okay. anymore to make the account because <laughs> because you mentioned the name in your first video on your trog channel and i went to try to find it and and i could not for the life of me yeah find no. it um i couldn't so, find it myself either so <laughs> um yeah uh, somebody mentioned um in the chapel all of my severed uh heads of my old skin were on uh, display if you notice there were all those endermen um just just to answer yeah. your question in the chat uh, that was a prank from somebody on this server. So it was not me. Uh, but you know what? I embrace that. It's kind of funny. <laughs> um, okay, so so you and I actually have a little similar of a story, but I wish that I wish that you and I uh, I sorry, I sorry, somebody just said that my audio keeps going off and on again. So I please someone can you confirm to me if that's true or not? Um but I wish I continued making YouTube videos because I started my channel in 2007. If you actually look oh, really? at my channel, it says started in 2007. Oh, wow. And oh, yeah, I, I had I, I was original, original. But um, I, I was making Smosh style content. Um, oh, gotcha. oh, yeah. It, yeah, I had I had another friend um, who I was making content with. And uh, and he and I were just making these kind of like short clip videos. It, it doesn't exist anymore. It's all been scraped from from history. Even like not even private, not even private. The they were gone. They're gone. Um, I yeah. bet you have a hard drive somewhere. I where you I can think still find them. I think they're on. I think they're on his computer. And, and he and I, we don't talk anymore. So I'd have to call him and it'd be like, hey, you remember that video we shot in 2007? <laughs> Not yeah happen. yeah uh maybe not um but yeah so so anyways i wish i had continued making content like you have because i just it's so obvious how much you love making content thank you yeah it's it's literally like the the main hobby that i've kept throughout my entire life well since i've been 14 all the way until now so yeah i mean it it shows because i think you're 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 very good at it. So <laughs> and I just take it, take it as a fan. I'm a, I'm a fan as well as, yeah, a, a fellow creator. Definitely. You know, it's when I'm on your streams, I'm really and anyone here who hasn't seen Trog streams, I'm plugging. You should definitely go check them out um, because they're they're Thank really you. good. Um, OK, <clears throat> so this is kind of the first lore book that players encounter on the server. Um, it's a lot of lore, so <clears throat> I, I would not recommend. I mean, you can. Um, but basically, it tells the story of the entire server, which is basically pages. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two two brothers uh, <clears throat> are searching for a cure for an illness that had befallen their mother. They make their way to these islands. Um, they were given advice from some vagabond on the street who turns out to be the the bad guy of of this server. Um, so that that's kind of a little spoiler for you if you decide to play through the other quests. <laughs> uh, eventually, yeah. Um, sure. They they kind of get. Uh, transfixed and they stay on these islands for a long time like 11 years and they don't help their mom um which is a little sad but i think they're under a spell basically is the idea mm -hmm. the old one yes snake that he's called the old one is the bad guy one yeah <clears throat> the old one because that is I'm a not, good name for a big bad guy oh i'm just very un, not creative uh at all <laughs> um and so the old one uh you know puts him under a spell and eventually he starts to give them instructions and and the instructions get darker and darker until one day he's like, you, you two brothers need to kill each other, basically. Go kill the other brother. Very, very dark. It gets, and, uh, uh -oh. <clears throat> Latrius and this, was... Is this where it happened? Well, Latrius was the good guy, and, and Cassius, who lived on the, the craggy island over there, he was the bad guy. And so, Latrius, he couldn't do it. He, he couldn't bring himself to do it. Um, so something happened here. I'm not, not gonna say too much for YouTube reasons, right, but right. basically, Cassius gets here and Latrius is already gone. And and Cassius turns around to leave and it's a stormy night. And there is the ghostly figure of their mother standing in the doorway. Um, and she says, he still has work left for you. And that's the end of this book here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. OK, yes. Um, so but but you're going to see some text when you jump down there. And then this is where players go. Hmm, is Latrius really gone? And so why don't you go ahead and, and jump down? You'll, you'll, you'll survive. I promise. I think. 
some people have died down there. Here, I'm just I logged in and died. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You okay, did. okay, okay. You did. Okay. Down we go but to I the Citadel. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm, oh, I really like the particles. This oh, is thank nice. you. Thank you. Yeah, command particles are so fun. Um, so, so right. So players are instructed to kind of find this place. And this is kind of our quest hub on the server. So, yeah. Um, don't step on that or you'll, you'll leave. Um, and, and yeah, but I was, I was just reading. <laughs> and there's a little bit more lore about the city. But uh, the first four quests are accessible to players right away. And then once you beat these four, you can trade in for a key that gets you up to higher levels um, in the quest tower. And All right, with the, the key, key master. master. Yep, cool. exactly, exactly. Um, and so we are going to be doing the Cloud's Rest quest today, which is, uh, which is let's see, which one is he? Oh, congrats. Man, you're getting all the achievements tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, I can't climb anymore. Are you, oh. you going to try to break out of here? Oh, every time. Well, Absolutely. Uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll short circuit that for you. Get, uh, get, get an ender pearl when you have time and shoot right through there and you're good to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah good work. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have stairs there. Um, but anyway, so, so yeah, this is the quest hub. And uh, we're just going to grab a compass from this guy over here, and I'll let you do the honors of stepping on the pressure plate. So Cloud's Rest has been closed to the world. Reopening the gateway will not be easy. Since, oh no, I don't have protection for doubling. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's going to keep going. Uh, it's, we're going to have to read them both now. The journey will be long and perilous. Only a pickaxe from Ebonglade can break the seal. Um, once you okay, find okay. the Forgotten Lake, be prepared to hold your breath. Yeah. I, uh, my, thank you. Oh, my, you also got one. I, okay. I got, yes, I have, I have three. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I have, I had two, okay. Um, uh, yeah, so the redstone under the, here is, uh, it's very novice, it's very early pickaxe. stuff. Sorry, what were you gonna say? We have to, we have to get the pickaxe. Yeah, and, and the thing is, the pickaxe is a whole quest in itself, and, and the thing about that quest is it's a puzzle dungeon. We can do it at some point, but it, it requires mm -hmm. us to not talk about you, probably. I think it would be more right. like... No, no interviewing, more focusing brain power. Essentially on... Yeah, and um, yeah, and I know how to solve it, too, so it may not be as fun for you, but there's a pickaxe that you get from that quest called the Pick of Ebonglade. And uh, and we're gonna need that, but we'll we'll I'll spawn that in um, when we get there. Okay, sounds otherwise, good. Otherwise, we are good to go. So um, let's head back. Unless there's anything else you want to see while you're here, but I don't think there's much on layer one. No, it just looks good. Cool. It's a great, great little room. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'll show you uh, higher levels of the tower uh, maybe tonight, uh, tonight or at some point. But okay, here we go. Okay. Oh whoa! Oh. Departing particles. Yeah. See you soon. Now, Latria says that to us. What do we think about that? You know, you really have to scratch your head and go, well, wait, isn't he here? It's so strange. But where were we? That is a great question, too. Mm. The city of last hope. It's kind of the... So when the old one came to power, um, the the world went into, you know, chaos, essentially, and, and all of the great civilizations collapsed, and so that's kind of the the last civilization that's left, essentially. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, the old one can't reach us here, so we. That is right. We're good. He he can only reach us in the adventure donut. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> I, was, I, was close the door. I, lo I love okay. how pressure plates are. They're so derpy sometimes. <laughs> um. Ooh. We need to we need to have a skyblock moment and break a tree, right? Or is that a skyblock thing? I don't know. Uh, I already did. Yeah, oh. If... You did. Yeah. Do we need a boat? Oh, we need a boat. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, and, and we need some armor. Uh, I, I know what I can do. I can grab some armor. Uh, okay, I will, I will grab the wood. Okay, perfect. Oh, the problem is my base is, uh, it's elytra friendly. Um, I'll just get an ender pearl. Okay. Cause there's only one way out and it's within elytra. So I'm going to grab, uh, let's see. Do I have a pick of Ebonglade in here? I must have a pick of Ebonglade on me. Yes, I do have a pick of Ebonglade. Okay, great. That's in my ender chest, so we'll be able to use this. Sky asks, what is the adventure donut? Um, well, it's delicious, and it's filled with excitement. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> no, uh, the adventure donut is the way that I have prevented griefing on this server of the, of the essential quests. 
Um, I wish I labeled these chests, but I recently took off all of the labels because I thought it was lagging. Um, yeah, it's an area that I set up um, for the quests where players can... Uh, it's shaped like a donut, and that's not very helpful, so I probably should just say that the central area of the donut, like the donut hole, is survival mode. And the... Uh, the ring of the donut that would actually make up the donut itself is adventure mode, and then everything outside of the donut is also survival mode. Oh! Did you just get kicked from the server? I did not. Oh, okay, well, I'm back. That was weird. Welcome that happens back. sometimes. I made three helmets. <laughs> I'll make boots, too. And uh, probably a sword. Yeah, so that is the adventure donut, and it is yummy. Oh! Hi! Hi. You're you're going to be in the same pickle oh, as me then. Can we not get out? Oh, yeah. No. Uh, here you can have some of these. You get eight tries. <laughs> oh, oh, and uh, here let me give you some armor before you go. Thank Let's you. Let's see. And you need boots. Do you need these? Um, do I need what? Or do you have some? I have armor. Ender pearls. Okay. Oh, ender pearls. I have eight. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I will also make a sword for us. You know, Ooh, I don't normally be careful. You almost die from that. The uh, the Enderman or the Ender Pearl. Oh, the Pearl almost kills you. Okay, good to know. Oh, maybe the Enderman in the chest is gone. I had a friend in here for a long time. Um, how do you feel about? Uh, yeah, I got some iron axes. I'd like I like to use axes to fight. That should be fine. Yeah. Everyone who's just joining, I am with the creator of Skyblock Four and my friend, and we are uh, we are going to hello time for games, guy. Good to see you. Hey, T Rav is here. <laughs> oh really? Oh yeah. Hi. Oh, man, I, we're going to talk about you. I want to know all about you because you seem very fun. <laughs> so I can't wait. <laughs> um, I have an axe for you. Thank you. And well, uh, this would have been better before I <laughs> broke in the tree, knocked down the tree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that would have made a lot of sense. Um, but we're not here for sense tonight. No, OK, where are we going? <laughs> um, yes, right. Uh, the compass. So. I'll let I'll let you drive, and uh, maybe we had I think we head in that direction. Um, I, Snake X says meeting the creator of Skyblock just turned into a let's play. <laughs> it, it did. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hang on! It's a balance. It's an evening with me, so we're gonna we're gonna touch on everything. Can I not? Ah, there we go. Okay, and this is the perfect time Wait, to talk. This is it. This is perfect. Um, so. Obviously, we talked a little bit about Skyblock, but, you know, we talked about how your channel started, where you were, like, 14 years old. Mm -hmm. You, what it, what were kind of content were you making at the time? Um, Redstone. Mm. I made a few Redstone tutorials. Uh, that was the first thing that I did. I see a chest over here and lots of monsters. Oh, that's a secret chest. Oh, oh, cool. Well... Let's see what's in it. Ooh, I got a shovel too. Nice. Oh, this is a very oh wow. Chest. Yeah, this is a. Uh... Uh, I'll, I'll. Well, we didn't see this. <laughs> Anyone on the server who saw that? Uh, <clears throat> it's yours. No, no, no. Uh, there you go. Okay. okay. So we'll go this back. way then. Oh yeah, probably don't need the boat anymore. Okay, so so you were making redstone content. Yeah. So what really got me into Minecraft to start out with was redstone. I really, mm. it. I really jived with oh. Feel yes. strange weakness. Uh oh. Brought on by the presence of the old one. We are heading into his territory now. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I I really liked redstone. It I I hadn't experienced anything like it before of like the problem solving and all that stuff. And I just really really we can't get up this way. Pearls. Oh yeah, pearls. Up yes. and over. Yeah, that's the key uh -oh. in adventure mode. I really shot it really far. I don't far. know where we're, we're gonna, gonna be go. So far away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> where did you go? Oh, I see you. I'm uh, I'm right behind you. Oh, really? Okay. I, yeah, I, watch I, out. I, oh, hello. Yeah. Good work. Nice, nice work. Okay, so you uh, were saying yeah. wiring and in that type of um, problem solving, I loved it. Mm. Uh, I think I see our destination up there. That does look like it. Oh, don't look at him. He's chasing after me, jeez. But I don't I think he's mad. I didn't look. He's just a party no, member did. now. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, I liked the problem-solving aspects mm. of it. Uh, I hadn't really thought, like, 
I hadn't really had to think like that before, and I enjoyed it. Ethos Lab was the first like oh. YouTuber that I watched that I was like, "Yep, now I have to buy the game." Um, so that was that was why I did Redstone because that was the thing I was having the most fun with. I I watched Etho so much. I don't think I have missed an episode. I'm not sure. Oh, I, I don't think I have either. He's so good. Uh -oh. He's just so consistently good. Um, okay, yeah, okay. this is this is this it. Is... Go right ahead, right. I guess. Okay. It's probably well, it's. I think it's safe. I think it'll be safe. Ah. So you'd like to meet? See if you can follow my trail. Uh, I think you may have gotten another compass. Uh oh, oh, compass two, right? Aha. Perfect. Okay. Let us continue. And Belial, I'm gonna be honest. Belial, one I stole from Diablo two. Um, if you've ever played, it's he's kind of like this winged like i don't know demon thing <laughs> careful there um <clears throat> and uh and two is i i had a bunch of key players on the server who were building like really tall cobblestone pillars um and uh and i wanted a way to kind of enforce that you're not supposed to do that so he kind of like prevents builds from going too high and it's <laughs> nice. um so yeah well, so <clears throat> you know what's really fun is the next portion of my experience of minecraft was mm. i wanted i loved adventure maps mm. i absolutely loved adventure maps and the story and everything and i started making one about when potions came out it was about nether wart and i never like i didn't get huh. very far because i didn't i was not a very good confident builder um i just wanted to do all the redstone for it <laughs> <laughs> um, you mean like auto brewing made, and stuff no, no, that was this was right when uh, brewing stands came out. So oh. this was before auto brewing and all that stuff. It was just, mm -hmm. it was just about this new nether wart thing, and I was like, "What is it? It's magical." Mm. Um, Warty. I did this whole thing about it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So, so you were, so you kind of got into the undocumented world of potion making, basically. Yes, before it was, yeah, that's exactly what it was. It was a mystery. You know, you started throwing stuff in, you got all of these strange potions that didn't really make any sense, awkward and stuff, and I still don't understand it, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know. They they need to add more for the other potion bases, right? Because why, why are there so many if you only use it for poison once? Or You're weakness, right. I think. You're right. Well, I don't know. I don't, is this typical of Minecraft where they kind of make this foundation and then they let people expand on it. I don't know, though. Yeah, I think that's that's pretty typical. Well, because that's what the game is. Yeah. Sandbox. Oh, if we took one of those saddles. <gasps> oh, oh, well. Oh, well. well. He's a beautiful horse, too. Look at him. Gorgeous. <laughs> um, so for those who are joining, thank you for stopping by. Um, and uh, yeah, I am with the creator of Skyblock 4, Dr. Trog. And we are just, I think we're we're nearing a timeline of where Skyblock starts, but we're not quite there yet. And I don't want to rush to that because we're talking a little bit about what got Trog into YouTube. So so you were saying, you know, Redstone, potion making, and then, so, you know, what, what time does this put us at when you're at potion making? Uh, that was probably, that was pretty early. It was about maybe a year into doing stuff for, because I would do like, a redstone tutorial when i figured it out or when i learned it myself because mm -hmm. i figured i don't know that i was good at explaining it and i definitely <laughs> was not back then definitely not nobody was that though. took a lot of time yeah exactly um okay uh, so so then what happened yeah. next so after that i started getting more into survival and I really liked this one person. I have no idea who it was. And I feel like I wish I could go back in mm. time and be like, OK, yeah, what YouTuber was that? But I couldn't. <laughs> uh, he was playing hardcore. Mm. And I was like, this is so much fun. And I started doing hardcore stuff, um, which is why my channel, the first few videos are like season four, mm -hmm. season five of hardcore. Um, well, and we were talking about this before the before we started recording you know, and I, and I, I just mentioned, you know, you, you did hardcore before hardcore was cool. Yeah. And I, I wanted it to be cool so bad. And I'm <laughs> oh, <laughs> sad. Man. Oh, it's funny though, how trends work like that. And people really jump on the bandwagon and, and, and the people who were doing it beforehand never really get recognized for, 
you know, you were you were a trendsetter, essentially. Well, I mean, nobody was watching it, so I don't think that was really the trendsetter. <laughs> I, don't say, I wouldn't but, say nobody, you know. but <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I understand oh. that, too. Is See it, another I, altar up there. I think that's we're heading where up we're there. going. Yep, that's right. Yep, guys, so we're, right now, uh, by the way, for those who are just joining, you have not seen this quest before. It is Cloud's Rest, and it's the first true adventure on the server, so I'm really excited to show you. This is nothing. Right now, this is just meandering through, you know, procedurally generated terrain, but just wait. Um, so, okay. So, so you kind of started to do hardcore and, you know, trendsetter and then, and then what happened? Uh, and then I stopped making videos for quite a while. I started playing other games too. I think the last, uh, last games I played or last game I played was called enslaved, which was a story, uh, driven, like single player game that I saw other people playing that I was like, yeah, I can play that. Um, huh. I've never heard of it, to be honest. It's, uh, what is it like? Wait, it's, what you said it? a single player. Like what's the, is it like a RPG? Yeah. So it's more, or? it's more story based. Mm. Uh, it's kind of hmm. a platformer. It was, oh, a platformer okay. Okay. Or something similar. Ooh. You are a fool for trying to confront, uh, Belial. Oh gosh. Belial. I'm so bad. Names, proper nouns, my absolute worst enemy. I can't. I can't. I love it. Hey, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help. <laughs> that's so funny, though. Um, yeah, Sky Sky likes to give you a hard time, it seems, in the chat. So um, Yes, he does, for sure. He's, he asks a question, actually, that I don't fully understand, but you might. He says, what if it was early? Oh, 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 oh early uh, Zil, P-H-I-L-Z-A. Zilla? Zilla? Early Filza. Filza, Filza. Is, is that uh, how you pronounce it? Oh, my gosh, I'm course. embarrassed. Yeah. Okay. Hey, proper nouns. We just talked about this. It's I fine. can't. That one, especially like internet names. Oh, no. I'm getting a lot of, I'm getting a lot of flack now. Oh, for sure. You will. Phil's is here. It's like, yeah, Phil's is, Phil's is in my stream actually now. Avid doesn't oh, know Phil's. Oh, that Filza. would be amazing. Guys, all right. Let, let me just clear something up for you. I have watched exclusively uh, Minecraft and then Hermitcraft, and that is it. That is it. And But I watch all of it. All of it. I'm completely obsessed with that. Um, so, <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess I'll drive and you tell me which way. I, I assume straight? Yep, just okay. straight. I feel maybe we want to curve around just in case. That we can do. That we can do. Long distance. So, all of that, and mm -hmm. you end up, I mean, Skyblock was a thing. You know, it, it's not like you necessarily invented Skyblock. Yeah. I remember hearing about it back when Minecraft was super early. I don't remember how early mm -hmm. Skyblock started, but what, how did you get to the point where you basically became the like conservator of, of Skyblock? Yeah. So I played Skyblock multiple times. So I played through Skyblock two and, um, I came back to it and played with one of my friends. Like I, I probably played through it. Well, before I took the map over, I played through it maybe three times. Okay. Uh, and on the third time, I saw a... Uh, oh, I can't break that. Okay. I saw <laughs> a um, a chicken coming, like a chicken jockey coming out. So it was a chicken <laughs> and a baby zombie. And I was like, wait, you can get chickens? <laughs> and it was all over from there. I became obsessed. I was like, "Oh well, actually, witches. When you get close enough, they'll throw, uh, they'll throw weakness potions." Mm. And so, mm. like, I I spent so much time trying to get villagers uh, because I was like, "Well, if they're like within a certain amount of block, there's a certain chance that they'll throw a weakness potion, mm -hmm. and then I can get mm -hmm. golden apples because I can get apples from trees and piglins." And I just that's exactly what my thoughts were immediately. It was like zero to 100. And now I'm all invested in everything because yeah, and, I had not seen anybody do any of that before. No. And, and uh, uh, a couple people here. So T Rav says Skyblock was always a thing since Minecraft was created. And I agree. I feel like Skyblock was yeah. so, and, and I think it, it lends itself really well to how Minecraft works, where it has these very, oh, what's the word? Um, just these mechanics that are, very flexible and there's so many different ways to get 
different items like you're mentioning, you know, your, your, your wheels start to turn on how you can, with very limited resources, get everything that you possibly need. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And now, uh, I, and I don't know if your viewers know, so, so Trog is an engineer. I think they probably know that, right? Yeah, I'm okay. a software engineer. Okay, and, and that makes so much sense. I, we were on a stream, and you had said you said that, and you, you know, it was the first time I had heard it, and I was like, ah, yes. <laughs> all all of it makes sense. Yeah. So I played that, and then I was like, uh, this is pretty outdated in terms of. Um, oh, I'm gonna take oh, a check this for. We gotta help action. the forest out over here. Yeah. Well, oh, we can't. We, but you know, well, it's fine. Fire takes off, so. <laughs> Okay, somebody already looted the chest. We're Makes good. sense. Makes sense. Probably close to the quest uh, line, uh -huh. anyways. Okay. So, all right. uh, what was I saying? Um, you oh, were right. Saying, yeah. yeah. I. It was an outdated version of Minecraft. The map was like where I had to update Minecraft to use or update the map in to use it in the normal Minecraft version that was out. And ooh, okay, village. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I was looking uh, looking for the next iteration it was skyblock three and by that point um i played for a little bit i saw all the trees and stuff and i was like oh this is so cool they added all these different islands it still feels like normal skyblock mm -hmm. uh and then the next minecraft update come at, came out and Rain started generating inside of the normal bounds of where Skyblock happened. Mm -hmm. And MC Edit, which is the program that everybody used, was not being updated anymore. Oh, so no. there was no way or people, the, the creator didn't know how to fix it. So they just didn't. And eventually I was like, hey, I think I can figure it out. Can I? Uh, do this they didn't respond for a long time i'm like well this is no activity at all um and then i made my favorite data pack of all time the snowball to terrain deletion data pack <laughs> where it just runs the fill command around a certain radius of snowball so you throw a snowball and then oh my the gosh. terrain just like <laughs> all the way down to bedrock <laughs> the terrain it eater great. yeah it That's was so cool and, <laughs> wow well because i just saw your video the um, I just was kind of combing through just just to see, you know, what you've been up to. And I saw your video where you said you wanted to solve the problem where when you fly a certain distance away from the, you know, the sky block, there is terrain there. Yes. And so that's your solution to it was the snowball world eater. Well, no, that was when chunks started generating inside of that radius. Oh, I see. I see. Um, okay. So you could see it and it wasn't like a thousand blocks away. It was super close. So um, you're kind so of relying the on the. Oh, I'm sorry. I just going to say is you're kind of relying on the player to uh, to delete those chunks like, you know, it's a scout's owner, yeah. basically that. That's what it was like, yes, and the map creator had stopped making updates to it, and I continued updating it from there. I also learned about advancements and custom advancements came around around that time, too. So mm -hmm. I translated most of the challenges into advancements. And I had a lot of fun with it, so I just have been continuing for the next, like, four years. Amazing. I mean, it, you saw an opportunity in probably the most popular variant of Minecraft, at least at the time, and, and maybe even still. Yeah. Um, and it was just there. It was yours for the taking. You Obviously, you had the capability to take it on, which is, you know, a whole thing. But, like, kind of, I always, I've, I've heard this quote, I don't know if you've heard this before, but luck is when preparation meets opportunity. You know, yes, and like you I have had not prepared. heard that, but yes, for sure. Yeah, you had prepared. There was an opportunity like some would say lucky, but I would not say lucky because sometimes it comes with a negative connotation. But that is the kind of my mm -hmm. definition of it, at least. Um, OK, so by the way, um, I see We're here. a couple of people. Here. Yes, we are here at the first area and there's not much. There's a little bit of lore text on the people of the deep which is a bigger quest line that uh, maybe I'll, we'll do together uh, in, in the next one. But um, the people of the deep were this uh, society of engineers who wanted to live beneath the, the water, the ocean. Um, Ooh, and and yeah, that. they're super cool. And so they basically like created these extract. Well, they created this evil, this good AI at the time who came up with all of these machines that could help them live underwater, sustain life. And so the first machine was these extractors that would suck all the mushroom uh, oil 
from mushroom islands out of the ground and convert it into energy. Um, I love it. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it, all of this exists in this world, so it's here um, for mm-hmm. us to, to explore at some point. Um, but anyways, the people of the deep, they were really adventurous, and so they, they actually went up to Cloud's Rest every now and then. It was a vacation spot. I mean, a city in the clouds, that seems like, you know, a place that these people who are very adventurous would want to go. Oh, for um, sure. Yeah. So anyways, that's, that's basically what this book is saying. It talk, talks about them. And then, uh, and I actually need to grab something in here, the pick of Ebonglade. And if I lose this, I'm going to be very sad. Um, <laughs> Do you have it, any questions uh, in chat right now about, well, at least the story of that and whatnot? I don't know. Well, the story the, uh, of... <laughs> my oh, go ahead. The first Skyblock. Yeah, so let's see here. We have Sky saying... Uh, popular MMOs was my first uh, intro to Skyblock. Um, are you familiar with that one? Not. Nope. Okay, I have not seen that. Um, and he said, well, he's, he said the series was about 10 years ago. So, um, oh. yeah. And then anybody else have any questions right now? Feel free to set, set them down in the chat. And uh, otherwise, we're yeah. going to continue because there's quite a bit. It's quite a bit more uh, of this adventure here, but we're basically starting off this quest. Nobody's seen it before, so I'm excited. We're, we're excited to do it together here. I'm excited, um, yeah. We're in this village, and we just need to take a peek around and see what's going on. So I think we'll do that and, uh, and see if any of these houses here have anything. And, and while we're doing that, we can, uh, we can talk a little bit more. Uh, I found a bunch of golden carrots here. I can oh. split these with you. Oh, perfect. And ender also, pearls. Yes. With that, uh, with that snowball terrain deleter data pack, um, that makes the almost useless snow golem the most powerful entity (laughs) they Um, can destroy everything it's a world deleter you gotta you gotta villager oh no yeah oh poor guy well i guess we'll just have to we'll have to beat him up sorry bud i got his head (laughs) zombie fisherman that's i hope he was a naturally generated one and not uh he maybe um so t rav right, says so. how do you make a cobblestone generator i'm in adventure mode but i got the, <laughs> there are many different ways i actually made a whole video where i was like these are the popular ones i'm gonna test them all out and see what the average loss rate is and no all kidding that stuff you know over engineered it you know i love that i love i mean because you think a cobblestone generator would be so simple and then I made my own and was like, this one's the best. <laughs> I actually have to watch that. I have not seen that one. Um, <laughs> and uh, Sky Will Die uh, says, popular MMO is a YouTuber who fell off a couple months ago. Um, one of their biggest inspirations. Uh, but you are forgiven, Trog, for not knowing um, okay. who he is. This time. He- <laughs> That's the whole... <laughs> That's the whole thing. Okay. That- <laughs> Sky. Sky's so funny. Sky is everywhere. What is... That's... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And now they're here. Yeah. Sky's okay, the great so, connector. Um, so anyways. Um, where do we yeah. go? So, so let's, while we're taking a look through these houses, we're finding some ender pearls. So do keep that in mind. Is that something that's going to matter to us? Um, okay. But I, I want to talk. So unless, so unless there's anything else Skyblock related, I do want to talk a little bit about your basically modded series, if that's okay. Yeah, for sure. And, and I think this series is maybe... Ha- I mean, I binged it all the way through, like top to bottom. Um, and so what really excited me about that series is all oh, of the, the data compass. pack. Yeah, there's another compass in there. I didn't want to spoil it for you. I actually forgot it was there. <laughs> um, nice. Okay, here, you can have that. Oh, what is it? Oh, thank you. Insta health. Nice. Apples, on is... armor. Yeah, I think we're good. With okay, so we found a new armor. compass. And and so your basically modded series is basically, as funny as it is to use that word, takes data packs and brings them to the thousandth, millionth level. Yeah. So I I called it basically modded. Uh, T-Rev called it uh, modded Minecraft, which essentially it is modded still. So it is a survival. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you. It's a survival series where I put, yeah, a bunch of survival oriented data packs all together to create a, a, a mod pack. Oh, is there stuff in the chest? Yeah, I didn't want to interrupt you, but you should sleep. <laughs> OK, OK. Or you should set your spawn. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, nice. OK. Yeah. Oh, so set it... my spawn. Good, good. OK. Yes. No spoilers, please. but <laughs> set your spawn. <laughs> Please continue. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, basically modded, yeah, the it's a bunch of data packs all put together. They're survival base. I spent a very long time searching for like what I considered the best of the best that wasn't like the um oh oh forgotten lake beware beware of the of fish. fish oh no <laughs> i don't like that <laughs> the skeleton too how is he oh there he goes he still wasn't burning it's weird um so yeah so basically Ooh. modded essentially is a mod pack oh yeah by the way this is the forgotten <laughs> lake um i i made this lake by putting a repeat command block down and then i continuously filled water around me and i basically just flew down to bedrock yeah see that's how that's exactly the type of thing that was like that that i used to create skyblock right it's mm -hmm. very similar mm -hmm. but only air instead ah oh, that makes so much sense and snowballs yeah and snowballs. <laughs> well it was snowballs instead of me but yeah because makes... me would take too long <laughs> me would take too long too <laughs> i like how you said that um okay uh so before before we talk more about basically modded, um, that is the island that we need to get to. Right. There's a boat over there. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's go over to that. That's that's a much better idea um, than using Ender so Pearls. Worried about the danger signs. The piranhas. Well, you know, I had initially designed this quest to uh, maybe we'll. Oh, <laughs> you got lucky. Yeah, okay. There you so, go. Oh, well, I ended up over here, so. Yeah, it's perfect. The piranhas got you. Um, I, I didn't realize that boats could work in this uh, in this area, so this is kind of the workaround. Oh, oh nope, they don't. They don't. They don't. <laughs> they don't work. Well, that's good. Somebody tried, though. <laughs> Maybe we'll get closer. Maybe, like, that hill over there. Um, yeah, that'd yeah. be perfect. So, so I watched, I started your Basically Modded series, and this is where, you know, I really wanted to learn about your relationship with T-Rav because you guys have such on on screen chemistry if that's the right words you guys just seem like you're very close friends and and it's just really fun to watch your interactions together yeah we we definitely are really close friends um i made a tweet about this recently cuz T-Rav updated some he's an artist T-Rav is and uh i hope oh, you going for it i don't think i made it Goodbye. I'll see you yeah. in the I'll see you on the bank oh, of the shore. You said What's it went it? all the way down to bedrock, right? You're going <laughs> to. Uh, oh, it, I'll get bit by a piranha and there it is. Well, no, oh. you won't. OK. Oh, I, I forgot. I'm in kelp. So uh, there we go. OK, I'm 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 back. You, you, you can give it a shot. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you're saying. <laughs> OK, yeah. Uh, he made the hardcore logo that you all might know and love uh like the the hardcore logo and uh back in the day when i was doing hardcore like you said before people were really doing it i uh i messaged him and asked if i could use the art for thumbnails mm. and uh he said yes and from then um i watched his videos he watched mine uh, I started an smp because i really liked smaller smps i didn't like the big um multiplayer servers at mm -hmm. the time i don't really like it as much anymore now and he uh i invited him in and then from then we've just been friends for the next like for since then all the time yeah and um and so you guys started the basically modded series which you know is is you two going through this unbelievably modded through data packs uh version of minecraft right and what's kind of the What's kind of really cool about it is I think you're also weaving lore into it, which I found I found really entertaining because I love yeah. I love lore. So we have lore. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't the SMP that I invited him to. It was. This thing called the Tempest Box. Now, have has anybody heard about the Tempest Box like you haven't? But I want to <laughs> know if your chat has, because okay. I will hats off to you if you do, because I, I'm actually very curious. Let's see. Let's see. Anybody, have you heard of the Tempest box? Um, and uh, and I have a couple of comments that I missed here. So Recoil Gaming, welcome to your first stream. Thanks for being here. We're playing with the creator of Skyblock 4 and also my friend, Dr. Trog. Um, and uh, and OK, uh, let's see. Sky will die. Avid loves lore. What? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I love it enough to make a Superman Yogg's cast. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> yeah. Sky, Sky Will Die does know what Tempest Box is, of course, obviously. I mean, Sky knows everything. Um, Absolutely everything. And, uh, and then Recoil Gaming, so Sky Knight says they don't. Recoil Gaming says, this big command block machine. Uh, I don't know what that means. Maybe yeah. if you, yeah, is the that what Tempest that is? box oh. was a thing, a box of okay. command blocks that what? you MC edited into your world to make essentially a data pack before data packs were introduced into the game. What? Yeah, it was crazy. Custom mobs, custom ores, machines, weapons, magic items, all of that. It was amazing. Um, that is project so cool. isn't going anymore, but uh. that's when I started with T-Rev. So whenever I was like, I want to do a series, maybe about data packs, because we haven't done that. And that connects back to what we did on uh, the Tempest box. And uh, yeah, that's what started basically modded was that we did the Tempest box way back when. And we have a little bit of lore of like. Um, I I was more like the bad guy who was using T-Rev <laughs> to help me get whatever magical like whatever I was planning. I don't remember, but it destroyed the world, a.k.a. the lore that you see throughout. We have oh. like just sprinkled that in throughout every series we do together. Uh, Cause it's fun. I love that. I like that that follows you. And I'm not gonna lie, with a name like Doctor Trog, that is kind of a super villain name. Just want a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, I usually play the bad guy. <laughs> well, while I have a question for you, but first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this, and we're kind of on a time limit. Um, fortunately, there's oh, two of us. As soon as we go in. As soon as I break this block. Okay. Um, we're not going down into anything. We're actually well, we're going down into the water. Um, you'll you'll see there. Yeah, there's a message okay. that'll make sense. But basically, uh, there are going to be rings that we need to swim through. You actually might be able to make one out just through the grass. Yeah, there's kind of one down there. They have like uh, sea lanterns at the top of them. And we want to find, I think there are eight of them. And now the question is, I haven't done this with two players. So I wonder if I need to find every one. So we should probably stick together. Okay. Um. So, and I, I know where they are for the most part, though I, it's been a while. So anyways, um, I'm going to break this. We're going to jump in the water. And then um, what I want to do is I want to continue that because uh, I kind of want to figure out. Here we go. The Pranas have gone under a trance. If that, does that make sense? They're in a trance. I don't know. Um, all right, let's do this. So where does the name Dr. Trog come from? <laughs> uh, so people... Uh... My original name for a lot of my YouTube stuff was Trogglestead, which was, a, I don't even know. It was a middle school thing that okay. somebody said at one point, and I used it as a name. <laughs> uh, and people would always just say Trog, which is very fair. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I wouldn't be able to read my name if I wasn't me. So um, I created... Everybody would call me Trog, and then... Oh, wait, where'd you go? Uh, I, uh, I went back through the ring that we just went through. Oh, oh. Okay. It's easy to get lost down here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we need to go down this way now? Yep, down this way. Oh, what's this say? Oh, oh yeah, that's that's throughout the server, that message. Okay, okay. I don't know what it means, though, I but I do know what it means secretly as the DM. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. I... I asked, uh, I asked some friends what a better name would be than Trogglestead. Mm -hmm. Because I was looking into YouTube and I was there. People had established what to do, right? Mm -hmm. You make catchy names that are easy to do. Like this was around that time during uh, college. And somebody suggested Dr. Trog would be better than just Trog. Mm. And I agree. So, or then Trogglestead. So mm -hmm. that's why he said Doc. It was just he said Doctor. There's a ring over here, by the way. Oh. Uh, let me get that. And I think once you, yeah, so you're on two and I'm on, where's my thing that keeps track of how many rings I've had? Oh, there, I have four. So, and I think there are eight total. Um, so I think you'll have to give me the feathers in your inventory. Well, we'll do that That'll at the end fine. though. Okay. Um, okay. So, cause it's funny when you told, when, when we were first messaging, I'm going to beat you through that one. I got it. <laughs> or you weren't even, you weren't even trying to get through. Okay. No, I was right. not trying. I was letting you go through. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just I was going to let you, I was going to let you think that you beat me though. I wasn't <laughs> going to say anything. That was very nice of you. 
Um, okay, I got six, and if you hand me, let's actually get to the middle platform, and then we'll we'll trade off. Um, uh, it was back funny. up top. Yeah, back up top. Yep, just right in the center. So when you when you messaged me, I was like, "Are you actually a doctor?" Because your cam account is also Trog PhD, and I thought that was really funny. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> and so I was like, "Hey, this is either somebody who's really trying to let me know that they have a degree, or no." You know, <laughs> oh, uh, you're gone. I'm gone, and my game crashed. What? Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, you left the game completely. Uh, hang on, everybody. Oh my goodness, <laughs> my game crashed. How did that happen? Oh no. Um, I need to. I need to sing elevator music. Do 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 do. Well, we can keep talking, right? It's that's just gonna true. be a black screen, or that's why we have. Yeah, that is a good have, point. Yeah, that's a very so, good point. Yeah. Please, continue. I do not have an actual PhD, although it was and potentially still is a plan to get one oh. because I really like making new things and discovering new things, a.k.a. like learning Redstone, mm. learning commands, learning Minecraft through Skyblock. Mm -hmm. So research is something I really like doing. So then to do research, you most of the time need a PhD. So... Uh, it was. It is a plan potentially. Um, we'll see. I'm currently in a field where I'm actually working on research development. Ah. So research and development. So if I just stay the course here like this for a very long time, I'll eventually be able to do the research that I want to, just with work experience and not the degree. But who knows? I I love it, that. I I um I work with a lot of people who have their PhDs, uh, and it. They, they are the brightest people. So I can tell you're you're definitely one of those people who just has a thirst for knowledge. Hmm. Um, so, sure. yeah, no, that's that. And uh, I'm going to teleport you to me really quickly because I'm actually in a new place okay. now. Um, let's see. To Avid. OK. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. OK. Well, I, uh, I, oh, yeah, I didn't design that for two people, apparently. So uh, apologies, everybody. And I have no idea why it crashed. That is weird. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so so what would you what are you thinking about getting your Ph.D. in if you were to do that? Um, or are you allowed? I, to, are you comfortable? Yeah, saying, I can. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I wanted to don't do... fall in that hole. <laughs> I will die. I know. <laughs> I saw it okay, as I was jumping over it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wanted to... Uh, I really liked uh, when I did a small project in college for uh, high-performance computing. Mm -hmm. And again, it's a problem-solving thing and whatnot. So I really liked that. So maybe I'll do high-performance computing or parallel processing stuff or something like that. High performance computing. So does that mean like making supercomputers or making like traditional computers more efficient? Both or either. Both. Okay. Not cool. making the supercomputers, but programming them. Huh. A lot of high performance computing Whoa. is done on supercomputers. Sorry, I just did a little no, parkour there. That was really impressive and I'm like, okay, I can do this. My street my my Discord, they all know I'm really good at parkour, so I'm just oh, yeah? stand yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even jump. <laughs> I'm gonna go around. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in my last stream, they they were so they were so kind. They stuck around and watched me miss one jump for about a half an hour. Um. So is that uh, where we need to go? That is where we need to go over that way. Um. And yeah. So for those who don't know, or I I, pro I talk about this all the time, but you know, Trog and I are both in software. So I figured, you know, um, it just seems like we kind of. I don't know, work on similar stuff in Minecraft. We, I, For me, at least, I love going super deep and technical on things in Minecraft. And and so Skyblock obviously makes a lot of a lot of sense in terms of how do you get this material starting from absolutely nothing? And like the, the core basics of it are, well, you need a bucket of lava basically to start. Hmm? Right. Um, and and I guess I just I bring that back to high performance computing because it seems like with all of that stuff, at least with software and how and how I think your you know my brain works at least is you you try to understand every single detail and you keep asking why and you keep reading until every single variable is known and then you're able to kind of create on top of that if that makes sense yes 
And that's Skyblock, but that's also programming, but that's also, you know, maybe to an extent high performance computing is, you know, yeah, to, to somebody from the, the outside, it sounds really complicated, but, you know, once you understand all the little pieces, uh oh. Oh! <laughs> got it. That was you gotta, awesome! You gotta jump. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I play creative, I'm a cheater. <laughs> oh, right, right. <laughs> Um, okay, so we are in the Ooh. destroyed city of Cloud's Rest. Yeah. It was destroyed by Belial, unfortunately. Oh, I love that. Okay, so a little feedback for the map right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't notice that it was all destroyed until we got here. Ah. So as soon as the text came up, I was like, oh, it is destroyed. Or I realized it was mm -hmm. destroyed, and mm -hmm. then the text came up. Perfect. Perfect yeah, maybe. Timing. Yeah. Oh, good. Spacing Thank you. With all this. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so this this is the, kind of the lore behind it, and I, I don't know if you have like the uh, the music coming through right now. I'm gonna like bring that down a little bit on mine at least. Oh, I you don't. I okay. actually usually have music turned off. Me too. I'll I turn think, it on though. Oh, I think I was a bad person, and I think I um, put it on master. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. Oh well, I don't hear it, but okay, yeah, good. you should because people turn music or command or no blocks and stuff off yeah yeah um so Ooh, we got a few survivors though we well they they will we'll see we can go over to them and say hi to them um they're, they're not bad people but i'm not gonna trust my parkour so i'm just gonna ender pearl and i'll see you over there <laughs> um this this uh also has a flight course that i made and it's totally Ooh. it totally functions it's um we have like high scores and it, it computes the number of seconds and it makes sure you go through every ring and uh, it's pretty cool. But uh, cool. you need special wings to do it. So right. um, you're not allowed to fly in the Adventure Donut. Mm. Um, right. <laughs> Funny Bee says, I love the, adventure donut. the crying obsidian is an eyesore in large quantities. And that's kind of what I was going for, because the, the lore here is that a plasma beam just just sprayed and cut this town in half and just just separated the whole town and Ow. it's oh 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 i yes. can't even you can't touch it you can't step on it yes yeah your feet i didn't burn. even realize mm -hmm. ow yeah and you get a little bit of blindness so yeah well, it is... that that probably would have killed me if i stepped on that and i was jumping oh uh, absolutely <laughs> that would have... the little tick of damage yeah <laughs> um so yeah so these guys here actually came um came from the city um and uh, from Citadel, so the last kind of refuge of humanity. Mm -hmm. And they kind of took this air balloon up here, and they, they came after the city was destroyed. So this guy kind of talks about oh. it. Duncan here, what does he say? Do you talk? Yeah, don't, don't, don't touch it multiple oh. times. Did I do it? I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, you did. This is, this is worse than we thought. Belial really decimated this place. It used to be so beautiful here. Who are we, you ask? We are all that remains of the people of the deep, or... Er, at least the ones who chose not to lock ourselves beneath the ocean. We were hoping to find some sign of life here, but alas, all we found is death. Ooh. Yeah. That's it. So the people of the deep, um, at least right now, is the lore, they lock themselves beneath the ocean, or at least that's what the world thinks. Mm -hmm. um, but what really happened, and we all kind of know this through just playing the other parts of the map, is that... Al, the AI that kind of controlled, you know, was the heartbeat of the city, and he was good. He was corrupted by the dark magic of the old one, and so he locked down the deep because he said it's not safe, and my prime objective is to keep everybody safe. Right. Um. Anyways, uh, th these are called shulker loaders because I still can't, for the life of me, figure out how to get shulker boxes to work in adventure mode. So they kind of like when you push that button there, if you have a space in your inventory, you get a pickaxe that lets you break oh, nice. one shulker box, and that's kind of how they. Oh, yeah. Nifty. Yeah, if you had one. Um, we have a player on the server who actually mended the whole, mended that pickaxe and created it like an OP version of it. It's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Um, Are okay, we going so to the arena. Oh, uh, the arena. Yeah, the arena is where you can fight bosses to get currency um, called okay. Trey. And that allows you to buy oh, right. collectibles and stuff. But. Uh, okay. We're going to have to, we'll have to uh, get a sky pass, which takes a little bit of time. Sky pass and red. Okay. Um, so there are a few chests in here that are going to help us out. Um, I think there's one up there if you, if you swim in there. And I'll see if I can find another one. Let's see. I love this, that uh, 
this chest is it do these refill yes by the way okay perfect yeah making sure um a, a game that has really inspired me uh is old school runescape if you have played or are, are familiar i have not you have not played um that's probably for the best for your own mental health <laughs> <laughs> it it's it's like let's just take the the aspect of you know most mmos is well you know sometimes you have to grind um mm -hmm. Ru runescape is like no 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 grinding is the game like, well that's skyblock <laughs> that is fair that's a good point i yeah i guess it is very grindy so maybe you would like it stay away from it <laughs> i will i don't have too much time to do grindy stuff anymore. same here same here um yeah it's okay it's, so i got oh yeah two feathers and... you have two feathers i have one and, and I, have I some think currency actually and i have some ender pearls as well so if we head on back over to those guys i think we probably have enough to do what we need to i'm doing the parkour i did it nice good job <laughs> thank you your one block jumps though they, come on now that's that's good for me <laughs> um okay yeah, i mean oh sorry go ahead i mean you didn't jump so yeah that makes sense uh, yes that is <laughs> that true one jump. I, I kind of like scooted across um Hang on a sec. Uh, ask Trog if Sky can ping the YouTube role on the Skyblock Discord for this stream. Yeah. Yes. You should be able to. Go for it. Absolutely, Sky. Yes. Um, and let me just make sure. Uh, Recoil Gaming says High Pixel Skyblock. What are your opinions on High Pixel Skyblock? It's a completely different game, in my opinion, than Skyblock, for because of all of the different stuff that you know, goes into it because you, you go to different areas, there's shopping, there's all this other stuff. Um, I don't know too much about it just because I'm like, eh, that's not the sky block that I know, mm. but yeah, it is something that I need to look into because it's a successful server with sky block and I'm looking to start a server <gasps> with sky block at some point. Really? Yeah. I did not know this. Oh, with when it with when fans it and for, everybody and whatnot yeah. that is so cool that's so it would be like a multiplayer thing where people kind of collaborate and work on the same skyblock or would everyone kind of have their own isolated or what's the how would it work um i'm i'm thinking of making it just for the discord for the skyblock fours official discord so mm -hmm. um that would rule out um a lot of chances for a lot of griefers and then yeah. Yeah, I think it would be more like everybody spawns on their own island that you could eventually get to other islands and collaborate. Um, oh, cool. So everyone's yeah. kind of distributed. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I like that idea. That is that's really neat. I I would love to play by the way. I've never actually played Skyblock. Um so, we still this, honor the currency oh, of our people. Yes, they yeah, do. I have some. So this guy sells Ender Pearls, which is kind of a a uh, a nudge in what problem we are going to have to solve. Um, and and I will uh, I will kind of nudge oh, you hello. along. What's in there? What? Who put those there? <laughs> hello. Those are the those are the boots that uh, you get when you beat the quest. I wonder if someone's stashing their quest items in here for. They like, probably are just to get OP. Yeah. It's like a cache of got like some cheaters. <laughs> um, okay, so so there are uh, a couple of banners that i want to show you here and make sure you have some okay. ender pearls on you yep got a few there's a this is a bit of a uh this is a bit of an mlg kind of fast twitch thing that you're gonna have to do here so oh so drop drop down your ender pearl in there and then we're gonna leave that for a minute love me some ender porters i i was watching one of your skyblock episodes and you just like teleported and i was like wait is he cheat like are they cheating and i was like wait a second and then it was an ender porter and you put the porter back and I was like, this this person watches Etho. I know it. Oh, I know for it. sure. Yeah, that's exactly when I started making those. Ender <laughs> oh, yeah. It's amazing, oh, though. So the that redstone. was the two. This yeah, is that's three. the three. Yep. OK. Uh, okay. Ender stasis chambers. Yep. Sky. Is that in there? OK. All right. Now. I'm going to show you where one is and then I and I'm going to run over here and hang out and then you're going to have to do the the MLG moves. Okay. I'll, show you where, I'll show you where one is but basically as you can imagine it's kind of a uh, one two three kind of thing mm -hmm. 
Um, but I always found the hardest part with stasis chambers is just the redstone that you have to lay, you know? Oh, yeah. Did you, I mean, did you see the pipe yeah. that I made for that? <laughs> it's so cool. It's so cool. It, it yeah, but it's was... totally worth it. Um, so here's your number one. Now, don't press it yet because it's going to make number mm -hmm. two go. And then number two, once you get there, you got to press number two really fast and it make number three go. And then I'll push number oh, three. to unlock the portal. Yes. Right. Um, so give me one second. And, uh, and there is a lore book that kind of points you in the right direction. Um, but I'm not going to force people to, I have a whole channel on lore and I feel bad when I'm, when I say, Hey, go check out my lore channel. And then they're like, this is seven days of material. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. Um, okay. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. And I'm going to take a look. Ender stasis. Yeah. That Z banner is basically my logo. Z is a two. <laughs> T-Rav says. <laughs> it, it does look like his logo to be fair that is fair it is basically <laughs> his logo same colors and everything okay uh ready yep go 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 One. oh gosh here we go i got it okay i hit the button did you get the okay, number let's... three? Oh, you did are you ready i think so yeah okay let's go this is a portal right all right yep oh and i think i need to teleport to you I, I need to design these a little better for multiplayer. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's okay. That's that's something that I struggled with a lot too. Ow, oh, I forgot oh, about careful, that. Careful, that's poison. On the eyes and on the body. <laughs> yeah, that's that was what you're going for, right? <laughs> yes. Well, I wanted it to look like this plague, like on this beautiful cloud area. You know, these dripping plaguey spell thing. Yeah, words. Yeah, <laughs> I, it definitely looks like that, I think. And the way okay, I made so. this area, just just because I don't think I've ever really talked about this, um, I went in spectator mode and I had a clock that was connected to a fill command that would fill snow around me. And so the clock would be on for a little bit and that would make the platform and then it'd be off and I'd kind of swoop down and then it would make another platform. And I just kind of kept doing that until it made like a general wispy, yeah, made this snaky cloud thing. I love that. No need for world edit. You, mm -mm. You're so creative with the command blocks. I don't that's, know world that, edit. That's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. I don't either. Uh, <laughs> button. Button. Oh, green. It's about to get and real. Pearl. Oh, we have some. Oh, you have. You have some weapons. I do not. So I'm gonna. You're gonna have to protect me, hero. Okay. Um, uh, and also you standing. should make sure there's some room in your hot bar. Um, cause this gives us a levitation potion, which is going to be how we get to the next Oh, nice. Platform. Oh, okay. Um, I kind of made it, uh, color coded. So levitation potions are purple, so you can go from purples to purples. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. And there are other potions too. So we'll be on the lookout for that, but this, I tend to overshoot. Um, so then I kind of land on this bush so I don't take too much damage. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, there, there are some pretty good. Uh, so my server gets really into these quests and they they do speed running on all of these quests. And so they've found. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's so fun. I, I always post like I really encourage that and I post some of their their winning uh, runs. And so this one has some good ones. Um, I'm scared. Can Maybe you can do it. Yeah, I'll just be down here. Yeah, no problem. I'll watch you from down here. <laughs> Hello, cloud chat. I don't have to do parkour because I'm so good at yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> you get me to do it. I, I don't need to prove myself. My chat already knows how good I am. Um, <laughs> uh, Sky Knight 60... fragment. Oh, yeah, yeah, those are important. Sky Thanks. Knight 63 says, I use wither stars to clear out spaces. How does that work? Wither stars? Wither stars or withers in general? Yeah, like withers... That's, that's a good idea. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Um... <laughs> Sky says T Rav's being shown up by a piece of cloth. <laughs> That's cool though. I'll, I can give you the the banner uh, pattern if you want it, <laughs> or maybe you already have it. Um, yes, my chat is saying I'm insane at parkour. Oh, you're not gonna make insane. me do this one. I'm insane. I'm so good. My chat is holding their breath right now. I made it. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I don't need to prove myself. Did it. Um, oh. oh. We got another portal fragment. Nice. And you probably got a jumping, leaping potion? Yes. Yeah, leaping. Oh, these are fun. Um, well, we're trying to get up there, aren't we? Wait. We're going to go red to red. And it's it's short, so drink and jump. I'm scared. Woo! Easy. 
Oh, nice. nice. Job. Okay, okay. I'm scared. No, don't, don't <laughs> panic. Remember, you just told me. I panicked. I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Snake is back. Hello. Um, welcome back. Uh, Rav, Rav says, I'm good at parkour when not recording. Um, I, I agree with you on that. I really do. Oh, I have two of them now. Oh, that's fine. Um, so, yeah, that's I the way see, we go. I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like this. Thank I like you. this use of potions. Oh, no. Well, oh, a jump may have been required. I also made the same mistake. <laughs> Okay. Uh -oh. No. Oh no. This is oh, bad. Oh no. Okay. MLG. There we go. Nope. Dead. Where? <laughs> here, I'll get you back over here. But we have to get those fragments. Um. Let's see. MLG. I think your fragments may be at your corpse. So so long as I can make it back alive. No, nope, it's a game roll or your keep game roll right now. I think. Oh. Uh. Or but your. I think you may have been teleported. Did you die on the on the ground or did you die? Huh. That's weird. I died in the, I I died on the ground and I hit the. Actually, no, no, no. I went far enough away to where I didn't. Um, I I went. I almost hit the ground and then I landed in the water. Ah, okay, okay. So you saved me. I did save you. Oh, is that where we Somehow. need to go? Well, it's green um, up there. This I have two portal fragments right oh, now. Oh, perfect. Okay, then we're good. It did it did oh, come oh. and save it somehow. That's good. Definitely intentional uh, game design. Intentional game design. That's, I did it. Yep. <laughs> okay, here we go. I did it again. This is not even the hardest parkour section. Oh, boy. Um, okay, yeah, so let's get the leaping potion back. And gosh, where did we leave off? Because um, I want, you know, I still want to talk about, about your stuff. So you mentioned right. you've been a part of a few SMPs. Can you talk a little bit about mm -hmm. those? So, oh. Uh-oh. I don't know what that was about. You really think you can change anything? I'm not sure what that means. Maybe. Okay, make sure you jump. Yep, we got to jump. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I created a few SMPs with a few people um, because uh, I I really like the smaller SMP type feel with uh, the community and stuff. This is a, here's some wild things. <laughs> I don't... So, what? <laughs> raven smp i yeah. have a series on my channel raven smp um we played for quite a while we built all the bunch of stuff we had a lot of fun for like maybe eight months mm -hmm. until we you know did a new world on the server and i put it up on planet minecraft for download yeah. so yeah. you can probably see it on my planet minecraft i did see it there um a person a reporter who was what? writing for minecraft.net contacted us or uh, contacted me to talk about the world and i actually have we have an article about the server on minecraft.net that is so from cool from an interview thing I it told, is really cool yeah i told you guys i was with greatness oh i still have the face on i didn't even realize <laughs> i had that I, on <laughs> I, the whole time I, the whole time i told you guys i was with greatness i had no idea that you were published as well that is just <laughs> that is impressive <laughs> that's so cool wow so oh, did you get both of those i did here have one okay. oh it took one away from me too oh and also here have this portal fragment somehow i have one okay. uh oh that's not good um so oh, okay so, no. so reporter reached out back. to you oh uh yeah yes. belial says this is your final warning turn back now that's not a good sign um, now it kind of gets free form, by the way. So the way to go is not necessarily clear. Um, lots yeah. of ways we can down take. there, I think. And then, yep. yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, so, yeah, okay. Reporter, so the reporter reached out to you. Did, did you get interviewed on it and everything or? Uh, it was more of like, uh, here's all the questions. Please send them to the rest of the members okay. and everybody fills it out. And she wrote a report about it. That's so cool. Okay, so we got slow falling. Yeah, we can go yeah, two Yeah, I ways. thought it was a scam at first. Well, I mean... I really did. Unfortunately, that's what the world has trained us to yeah. to perceive initially is not, there's no such thing as a free lunch, you know? It's like, right. what's, what, do you, what, are you, what are you trying to get out of this, you know? And it's like, oh, no, actually, it just turns out you're awesome and they want to know more about you. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, and so we got it and it talked a lot about like how our SMP was like a family 
Mm. Um, oh, oh uh, well. Did you? What? You? Did I take yours? I I thought I was sneaky, trying <laughs> to hold on to gliding potions by just jumping down, uh, and you you clear them from your, your inventory. Oh. I software engineer. People on yeah, this server. You thought about it. You they thought about it. Well, and I have cheaters. Well, uh, they're bug <laughs> abusers, but and I love them. Uh, the biggest one is on right now. Pro MacGyver has broken every quest, has taken every special item out of every quest that I've tried to prevent. So I think about it a lot. <laughs> but anyways, <Yeah. laughs> anyways. Uh, OK, let's head down that way. So like uh, this, where I just fall down instead of. Yeah, that works, too. Oh, yeah, it yeah. works, too. Yeah, well, because then I want to keep the potion, but I can't. <laughs> no, you cannot. That's not allowed. Oh, forbidden. Well, oh. Oh, There's it switched one. out. Okay, you knew. You knew what was going to happen. Levitation. Yes, and I think we want to get actually over there before we go up there. Um, yeah, we want to head up the brown. It's not. Uh, this is this is not protocol, but here we go. I like to chuck. I like to chuck the bottles midair. It's just very satisfying. Uh oh, I'm gonna. Get I hurt. am hoarding them. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to get hurt. This is not good. Uh, oh, that's really yeah, high. So, Ouch. Land so on the bush. So with that Raven SMP, oh, we, we played. Mm -hmm. uh, we had that. It was, it was a lot of fun. Use their magic mirror. Ooh. Oh, very cool. Yeah, that's something that you get from the deep quest. It teleports you. Ouch. Home. Ow. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, nice. I've got all. I got four now. Okay. This uh, will end you. Get your bows Get your bow ready. We're going to have some of Minecraft's best mobs in the game approaching us. Ow. <laughs> I, I walked too far and got hurt. Oh, you got hit by the... There we go. There we go. Nice. Wow. Was that Anna. just three shots? Uh, I think or so. no, it's more? Uh, there's more, though. Yep. He sends his minions after us, his sky minions. There's one more I see at least there. Oh, you're brave. He's right, right behind right. you. I'm coming. I'm no help. I know it's always <laughs> it's so much easier to uh, to hit them with a sword than to shoot them. Most it's so of true. The time. So Especially true. with it snowing. I can't see anything. Oh, he's right there. Do you have a uh, do you have a gliding potion on or on, in your inventory? Just I do. Nice shot. OK, okay nice. Now we're going to go. There we go. That's the, uh, that one. Oh, we we got to keep going. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. Yep. There's so fall. Uh, yep. So where fall. are we going? This way. Back. This way. Yeah. Oh right. It's kind of a labyrinth. If you if you look up, once you get over here, the purple yeah, beams the... are ones we have not yet uh, grabbed. Right. Okay. So now we have to jump back. Yeah, we have to get over. Ooh, we have to actually get up a little bit. So yeah, I guess we'll probably take this purple up to that platform. Yeah, I think. Wait, that purple? Um, I. Th oh, I, I see one of your bottles here. <laughs> I just throw them. I'm a mess. I just make it a giant mess right now. Um, I think we actually. I think we want to get up to this platform up here. You see where I'm that headed? one up there? Okay. Yeah, right yeah. here. And then and then we'll backtrack just a little bit to get those other platforms. Um, okay, so Raven SMP. When did you start that? Um. I don't remember. That was a few. That was like my first year in college. OK, so. Six years ago, five years ago. OK. Uh, and. That was. Yeah, that was. Uh, freshman year. Yeah, of college for me. And what inspired the name Raven? I was very into so it was supposed to be a YouTube type SMP, but it mm -hmm. was not. Uh, eventually, people stopped wanting to do YouTube and stuff, and that's totally fine. Um, so I looked for like people threw out a bunch of ideas, and then I uh, compiled a bunch of them, and we're like, okay, put them into the algorithm or the the like. Uh, a program that showed what good um good video titles or good like tags were oh. and nobody had a raven server or a raven smp server 
What? So that's what we went with. You algorithmically yeah. generated the name, yeah. basically the core noun in the server based on like data. I love that. Yeah, of course. That's like, so cool. <laughs> this is less. <laughs> this should be less and less surprising the more we talk, right? This is what I. No, does not surprise me at all. It's so funny. I work the same way. And it, by the way, uh, Devin's here. Hi, Devin. Um, and it, it, Devin, thanks for noticing the fire resistant, uh, resistance on the phantoms. Yeah, uh, I didn't want them to burn up in the day. So yeah, thanks for that. Appreciate it. Um, and also for those who don't know, Devin is going to be my next guest next week. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, it's funny because my very first video on this channel was also driven by data. Um, and it was this tutorial on how to make circles. Prepare to die. Oh, no. we should. I'm going to get my I'm, I don't have a bow, so you're, you're going to have to protect me. Um, it was how to make like spheres and circles using armor stands. And um, I right. used I used this like search engine optimization tool to basically understand, you know, what were people searching for in Minecraft? and that where the need was not met. And that's exactly what I did is I found spheres and circles. People were searching how to do it. And I was just like, oh, I, I looked at the tutorials out there. I didn't think they were very good. Um, so no, that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> that's so funny. So why this is what that's actually why I chose to stream on YouTube instead of Twitch as well. Yeah, because I saw that there wasn't a lot of to as a lot of good uh, Minecraft streams going on. Um, mm. And I yes. was like, oh, yeah, well, I can fill that niche. I can help bring some quality to this. Makes makes total sense. And I and I feel like there's a lot of institution. All right, maybe that's the right word with okay, Twitch. Got it. That's the last one. OK, uh, we have to backtrack a little bit. Um, we have to go down. We have two that we can get one there and one there. So we could probably take a gliding potion down this way. We. Dropping bottles. <laughs> Just a habit now. Uh, oh, I think I gave that to you. Thank you. I keep um, giving it to you. Thank you again. <laughs> do you do you need one, actually? Here you go. Nope, I'm good. Oh, oh you're good. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, well, does that work? What? Yeah, that works. You have two? Yep. My... My code must remove just one then. Um, yeah, let's head down. Well, no, there. I threw it on the ground and then hit the button again. Oh, you cheated. I did. Gosh, my server's full of cheaters. Oh, no. I need to come <laughs> you down to you. You said that you were a cheater. Oh, no. Yeah, you got to you gotta come by. Help me. Help me. Die, you worm. <laughs> I, I, OK, so I got a little in character. And I almost shot you off the edge. Oh, come on. That would be. Wait, is that your character? Are you like a. No, no. I was reading the line. <laughs> I knew it. Super villain name. Super villain attitude. <laughs> And you have zombie T-Rav where like, what's the lore there? Like you created zombie T-Rav in your laboratory or something like that's no, all, that's where uh, my brain goes. Zombified T-Rav uh, or zombie T-Rav. He because he had a lot of health issues when he was young. Hmm. He. Um, he named himself zombie master T-Rav because he had conquered death quite a few times. Well, that is a that's awesome where his story. name comes from. Wow. That is really cool. I had no idea. T-Rav, I, by the way, oh gosh, I'm about to die. Um, I have been watching basically modded and I, it makes me really so badly wish that you were my friend. So if you're <laughs> still out there, <laughs> you guys just have so much fun. And it's like, where, where are all my Minecraft friends that I get to play with? And it's like, well, my friends are like, I'd rather play Call of Duty. <laughs> oh yeah. I oh. did have that for real life friends. Mm. A lot of real life friends were, are like that. I don't have too many real life friends that play Minecraft. I, I should say, because I because I'd say some of my closest friends are mods on this server, and so it's not that they don't play, but they're just not YouTubers. And so that is, I would be so that'd be so cool to be able to play with some of my closest friends IRL. But you know, that's what the internet's for. Is mm -hmm. exactly. Um, I don't uh, actually looks know. Looks like where we to, need to yeah, go down there. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Down here. Yes. 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 Follow the the colors and throw your glass bottles off the. I I litter. I'm Keep a cheater them. and a litterer. <laughs> uh, which is the next one? Oh, we need to get to purple over there. Yep, you got it. Um, I think you get. He gets really mad at this one. His vassal. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I. Why is it that? Uh -oh. <laughs> he's uh -oh. so stuck. He's stuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there's two of them though. <laughs> did you see that? Did you see from my perspective? I didn't. I did not <laughs> oh my see gosh. what happened. It's a giant phantom, right? Uh, the only mob in the game that you can scale for some reason. And uh, he was yep. just stuck inside of a platform. He's kind of doing oh, right what there? that guy's doing. No, well, the other one died. Um, oh, that's so funny. They're so derpy. I love it. Yeah, I defeated the giant phantom. Hmm? Can you uh, scale up their health too? As they? Oh yeah. Oh, as mobs. Bigger? Mobs. Well, I mean, you can do. You can control anything you want, pretty much, with mobs. Um, but I mean, like yeah. naturally. Oh, na like does if you scale them bigger, do they get more health? Like naturally? Yeah. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, the other phantom was dancing sky. Um, and you can scale slimes as well. That's right. Two mobs basically that you can scale. But why? Ah, don't tell. Don't talk to me about bedrock and play animation. It's so cool. Have you seen that Trog play animation stuff? Play animation. Oh my um, gosh. What's it? You can animate things. It's a command on bedrock that basically allows you to play any animation that that mob would normally have. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's super nice. I've, I've heard about this, the bedrock and animations really good. Where are we going? We, uh, yes, that's a great question. Um, so we are going to go, uh, off of this plant here. Follow, follow me when you are ready. Oh, don't let oh, that guy I... bother us. Um, there. So yeah, expired. Uh, he is, or actually, yeah, expired is in my Discord, and they made a snail, and it is legitimately amazing. Like, they were they were sending us messages of how they were going to make this snail using the play animation command, and they were like, okay, so the zombie is going to be upside down, and the zombie legs are going to be the eyes, like the stalks of the snail. <laughs> I love that. And already starting with that, you can already picture what this thing is going to look like. Yeah. They they combined all of these mobs into this like amalgamation that was like, quite frankly, it was like it was disturbing, but perfectly a snail. It was amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, it's very cool what you can do with that command. Hey, uh, you can make that jump, by the way. You can make oh, watch out. Ah, ah. <laughs> Thank you. You don't need a potion for that jump. Oh, the one that you just took. Oh, you just good to know that you're you're cheating again. <laughs> yes of course <laughs> that's okay so that's also the fun do you a lot of people ask like oh can i do this isn't this cheating with skyblock and i'm like mm. this is you're like this map is a survival map you can mm -hmm. play however you find it fun um and i think a lot of times i find trying to cheat a little bit and see if i can hoard items or whatnot in um in different uh, adventure maps, what I do, fair I like for fun. Well, that's just how I play any game that has healing items, or you know, I'm like, I, yeah. I am way too afraid to use them. So I, you know, by the end of the game, I have thousands of them, and I never use them. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, and so, but how do you cheat in Skyblock? I mean, it's it's the core mechanics of the game. You're well, not like spawning in items. Spawning I spawning oh, items in i see and stuff, i see like okay. playing in creative or, or doing whatever and it's like yeah play play the way you want mm -hmm. i agree and and i get a lot of i don't know if you've ever posted to reddit or spend time posting any content to reddit i would i would avoid it uh i used to not much okay now, but um yeah i it's sometimes it's really great and i've met some people you know through reddit that are awesome and then sometimes it's just people who are really mad and they're like so a lot of times it's like, hey, you're using commands like that's not how you play Minecraft. And it's like, well, Minecraft is you can play it however you want. Ever you want. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, OK, so we need a gliding potion. I believe it's over there. You know, I'm just going to. We already you, did this parkour. We right? did. We had to backtrack. Yeah, because we missed. Oh, a couple. OK. Um, I'm just going to let you grab two and I, I'm going to hang out here. You know, oh, right. So you want me to cheat at your own map? Is it's that not, what you're asking me to do? This is multiplayer cooperation. OK, yeah. <laughs> Trog is good at parkour, everybody. <laughs> I'm I'm great at it. I'm really good at it. But, you know, I just wanted to make sure that Trog was really good at it. <laughs> yes. Wow. you're. <laughs> They're was, all one block jumps, though. <laughs> flawless. I, anything Thank can you. happen. <laughs> OK, this one you really want so a running start. Go drop the potion okay Board the potion no uh okay um this one's kind of a little tight squeeze you might have gotten two you might have nope. gotten three it, oh it just resets it <laughs> that makes sense yes intentional 
Um, oh, there's a phantom right there. Oh, yeah. Those guys will really mess us up, too. Oh, yeah. Especially if we keep going. I just messed him up. He was glitched, but now he's not. So oh. that'll be fun later. <laughs> uh, oh, well. See you later. <laughs> I think we're going up, right? We are. We are going up right here. Um, yeah. See, yeah. Sky says, uh, <laughs> well, Zombie Tirav says you are really good at parkour. And I did not know this, by the way. So is this a thing? I'm not, I'm not the best at it. All okay. right. I'm not. I'm good, but I'm not really good. I'm better than average, I would say. Mm. And Sky mm. might be able to back that. He we, did. We actually. had a parkour duel at one point. Well, uh, well, you Sky, know what to do. Sky said this. Sky said, uh, Avid is so good that he would embarrass Trog. So I'm I'm just being nice. And that is absolutely true. Right, yeah. yeah. Throw the fragments on. Um, yeah. I actually have to give you one of mine. And then. Oh, thanks. Now we, we begin. Um, yes, I am the parkour universe. Thank you, Snake. I agree with you. So this is this is the. This says, you know what to do. I can do this. Want to see? Yeah, go over it. Goodbye. Bye. I did it. Oh, oh no! <laughs> what? You left me with the phantoms. <laughs> oh, I you heard have a quite bunch a few. of phantom noises. Oh no! Yeah, there's a. Uh, let's see. There's one above your head. That's all. Uh, there's two above your head right now. Oh, there's three. Are these wow. naturally? These are naturally spawning phantoms. I would believe it. Yeah, they don't have fire resistance. Good. Extra layer slept. of difficulty. <laughs> They're gonna mess with your jump. Um, that parkour duel that Trog just mentioned went slightly poor for Sky. Really now? I want to hear all about that. Um, and I also want to hear about what the Trog bridge is. Oh, <laughs> the Trog bridge, yes. <laughs> okay. I don't, I, I ended up dying. That's fine. Way too, way too I'll far. teleport you to me. Okay. <laughs> uh, I need, okay, we can't place items in um that's right in adventure, adventure mode can we that's right okay at some point well, yeah i'll have to show you the trog bridge because okay. it's it's my bridge <laughs> Ooh, nice You're in oh there. okay this we're gearing up for a fight then huh yeah so we are at the boss we are about to face off with belial um i'm gonna teleport myself to you because of course i didn't make this for two people <laughs> And... Do you want one of his feathers? I don't know how oh, we thanks. still have them. But... I think that gets cleared from me anyways when I do. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you're going to want all of the gear here. I already uh, got it. It, oh. it just took it off me. And... Oh. Yeah, that's protection from cheaters. So many cheaters. I still have my pick of Ebonglade on me. Well, that's a mistake. Uh, Hold on a second. I got to park that. <laughs> I see you looking up and down and all around. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, did I put an ender chest here? No, of course not, because that would allow for cheaters. So many. It's me. I, You know, you're right. I, I say I cheat because I play creative. It invites it. It invites that into this world. Okay. 34 golden carrots. I'm going to drop those off. I'm going to clear my inventory. I'm going to put myself back in adventure. I'm sorry, chat. I cheated. I cheated just like I just like in our, our boss such a, fight. Such a cheater here. I'm, I'm a cheater. <laughs> Throw me. I'm gonna I'm gonna break your map. Are you ready? It's what are you gonna, gonna do? What dang it. What just happened? Where'd all your Never gear mind. go? You <laughs> stepped on the button and it cleared it for me. I gotta <laughs> I gotta go up here. <laughs> oh, uh, I would encourage you to turn your weather sounds off unless you want to hear lightning for the next uh we'll call it, I don't know, ten minutes. That's fine. <laughs> and uh Ow. yes. And if if you I'm used know, to this. Are you? And I'll make a yeah because it's skyblock. This is such a perfect map to bring you to. I mean, we are in the sky. I didn't even think about that. Goodbye, creeper. Okay. Wait. What was I? Was that supposed to be okay? That was the special was creeper. Say, he was gonna help us. No. <laughs> I was gonna say I knocked him off. And there he's gone. Yeah, it's fine. Goodbye. Nice. Yeah, this boss. Okay. okay. This is a stage boss. Yeah. I I really only make so, stage bosses. Sorry. Uh, go ahead. In basically modded, mm -hmm. there is a dimension called Varsk space where uh, lightning happens all the time. Ah. Um, by the way, you just got a special arrow. If you can just aim it yeah. at him, um, you have to make sure it's like uh, in your. Because it's funny how Minecraft. Offhand, yeah. 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 Woohoo. Nice. Work. Nice. Oh, wow. That hit exactly where it was supposed to. Or got, exactly where it hit. Nice. Yeah, it like it makes a little magma block where it mm -hmm. uh 
where it can make contact, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, you know, you know, basically modded. So, you know, uh -huh. the Varsk space. Hey, that's not the green one. That's the that's what? the that's the one where we ran away from all the demons through that through that dimension. Yes, yes, yes. Right, right, we right. Hit each other with lightning. Mm -hmm. That was so much fun. I Whoa! so <laughs> you didn't make it, did you? No! Oh, you fell from a high place. It's OK. Oh. I'll be I'll be right back. <laughs> wait, wait, but, uh, the the battle stopped. Oh, no, it started again. OK, but uh, you stay right there and I will prove my worth by beating the first segment again. And please okay. con and while and while I'm doing that, please continue with what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. So if <laughs> if for those who have watched the series behind the curtains here, Mm -hmm. T-Rav and I knew we wanted to switch to a bit a different base. Um and I was like, "Oh, Demon Army, we'll they'll blow up our base and we'll be sad and we'll move to another one." What we didn't realize is that we were going to die over and <laughs> over and over again and have to flee into a cave and cower in a corner until we could teleport each other to a different dimension and escape. You mean from all the lightning strikes? Or No, it was one of the bosses just kept like spawn oh, camping us. Oh, that's every time we spawned, they just inst instantly killed us. So, oh we... my gosh! So, Shoot how... him with this arrow. So you, so you hid in a cave, and then how did you get out of that dimension? Oh, uh, when you run for a certain amount of time, lightning strikes, or oh, it like strikes right. behind you, and eventually you get faster and faster and teleport out. That's right. That is a really cool mechanic. That's kind of like a Back to the Future sort of thing, yeah, right? Like you. Yeah, because uh, lightning trails behind you, and if you get hit by it, it's game over, and you get teleported up into the sky again. And oh! no, <laughs> no chat, no, this no. isn't gonna happen again. <laughs> I could, I'm sorry, chat. It's just like last time. <laughs> it's the pressure. Oh. <laughs> I can't take the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no and and you know what's the worst part about it is sometimes thank you for the f t rav <laughs> the worst part about it is uh is i'm not gonna cheat i'm not going into creative um I, sometimes people keep track of my death count and they and they love it <laughs> they love it <laughs> it's the best when you do that it is. yeah it is no it's sure. it's fair i deserve it though okay cool so now that's one custom dimension and i haven't really played a lot with custom dimensions before so in mm -hmm. your mod pack how many custom dimensions are there oh um or if you even know maybe it's just a lot or 13 13 custom dimensions yes okay first off I, i'm impressed that you know that off just off the cuff um, i am okay so with the Bracken pack, I am actually a lore master and a part of the team now because of basically modded and suggestions and like me being interested in all the lore of the world that they made. That's awesome. So, yeah, the Bracken pack has 11 custom dimensions and then uh, Under Magic has two. OK. And like, what does it take? Because I want to do this. I made the jump. Ah, nice. Did it. Uh, what does it take to actually make it? Like, is it just a JSON file? Like, what does it actually take to make it's a, a custom... JSON file? Yeah, you're kidding. No, that's all it is. It's a it's a JSON file that uh, oh. has just the specific different things in it. Yeah. Hey, congrats, by the way. That's so cool. I mean, I I'm sure it's wildly undocumented and. Uh, oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I am having so much trouble. That's why I have not updated. Like, that's why I haven't gotten the newest update that I want to Skyblock yet is because it's so undocumented and so difficult to do. Wait, you use custom um, dimensions in Skyblock? So, no, but I will. Okay, so cool. my my solution to the world generating outside of the normal Skyblock bounds is to make the... Uh, so you can create a custom dimension and then have it overwrite the overworld. OK, that's, um, so that's what awesome. I'm going to do. I'm going to make a custom dimension where it has all of the normal biomes, all of the normal everything. But um, terrain doesn't generate. Cool. That's what my plan is. I hope it's just an empty JSON file. I hope it's that easy for you. <laughs> no, it's not. I have to. It's actually bigger than most custom dimensions. No way. Because what? With custom dimensions, it's like you make a custom biome 
uh, or three or four, and then oh. that's it. You apply those biomes mm -hmm. to the world, and then that's or to that uh, to that dimension, and then you're fine. Sure, but for for the overworld, and for me wanting it to be still as vanilla as possible, right? Like, yeah. I, I want all the normal stuff that you can do in in survival. Uh, did I overshoot that because I got sh hit? Yeah, I overshot. That. Oh, no, <laughs> that's a uh, hmm. Bear, bear with me. I will get another one. Oh, wait, no, you hit him. No, oh, the, health, the health went down. Yep. Oh, OK. Yeah, you got him. Uh, where did you get him? We'll find out. I think I got him in the face. I think the he... nose. Wait, uh, no. That's his beak. Um, I don't. OK, I don't see it, but it counted. It's somewhere. It's somewhere on him. So well done. OK, yeah, well, we'll see. I think I got a headshot maybe. OK, fine. Um, There's so many phantoms. These are all naturally spawned for I, me. I think so. Yeah, we're just going to have to. I'm just dealing with them. So be it. Me jumping around baiting it. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I, I'm I'm shooting them. I'm actually I'm I'm saving okay. you this time around. Yeah. I so think. with custom dimensions, yeah, you make the dimension, you make whatever biomes you want and mm -hmm. all the world generation or not all the world generation you want. And then that's it. But with me wanting to do as vanilla as possible for Skyblock, I have to do every single biome in the game oh and gosh. change it. I just got an awesome shot. Did everybody just see that? Uh, anyways, so that makes so much sense. But what a headache. So it's basically at, you set every biome to, to create nothing. And so how many biomes are there? Like yeah. 30, 40, something? I don't, uh, something like that, yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a headache. Um, geez. Oh, I, no. I, did you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> take two. <laughs> oh, two. man. Oh, uh, what? Uh, take two. <laughs> no, no, well, it's not like we're recording no. this or anything. Oh, no, no. Not like we're streaming with anybody. That was... Uh, I'm going to clear the weather, too, just on the off chance that these particles are causing... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, yes, see? It's not just me. <laughs> Look at that. That's right. That's right. And yeah, T-Rav had a comment that said, try not to unalive, Avid. How about try not to unalive, Trog? And why is there a wandering trader that just died on that platform? Do you see the <laughs> leash? It. Yeah, it just spawned in and died. <laughs> this is there. It's the leash. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, poor buddy. Okay. The traitor. I know it's so sad. I think I may have. Yes, that is a very tough one. That one you have to get the diagonal just right. Um, that's so funny. Uh, I have one. So this dislike. is harder with two people. <gasps> that's okay, Snake. Um, I think it is harder. Yeah, because if one person, I don't even know how it detects that. I figured it would. I, my usual logic is if no players are in the area, then it's then it's over. But it must. Yeah, I'd have to double check the logic down below. Um, but. Uh, Let's see. F. Lots of Fs in the chat. T. Rav oh, malfunction. Yeah. Oh. Ow. Ow. Don't miss. Nice. Ooh. Well, let's not talk about where I just shot him. <laughs> uh, it, we'll say it's a it's a gut shot. There is a yeah gut shot. Did you ever play World of Warcraft? I I did not know. That's another MMO that I'm I'm happy to oh, say. Oh, you, you didn't. also. Yes. Didn't get any f give people any food. There's no food. That was a recent this. complaint. Oh no! I got hit goes. by lightning. There he goes. I got I'm hit by lightning. I'm gonna survive. <laughs> okay. So, well, what do we need to do about this? We we just gotta. You know what they say? Get good. We just gotta do it. We gotta get good. Gotta okay. get good. We got this. We got this. Okay. Um, one more. One more try. This will be the last. <laughs> yeah. That's I fair. I missed the jump because I got hit by lightning. The moment like that. There I just did goes. it again. I, oh, no. I'm stuck down here. That's That didn't count. That wasn't an official attempt. No, it wasn't an official attempt. No, not at all. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, Bracken Pack is my favorite oh. data pack of all time because mm -hmm. of all the lore they do, all of the um, all the dimensions are... Oh, I, my effects. My effects weren't I, uh, I I cleared the weather. That might have goofed with you. Oh, it the, did. The funny thing is, because I didn't, I'm worried that the particles maybe are hurting my uh, bit bit rate. Is that a thing on YouTube? I I don't know. I'm not a streamer. 
<laughs> I'm stuck over here, by the way. <laughs> um, did you did you happen to start the fight or? I don't know how to start the fight. Uh, base, ah, there we go. Okay, Thank there you. we go. I, I had to run down the stairs again. I, I, <laughs> yeah, there's a. I, I used to have um, a uh, you know an execute if command, but I've since replaced almost all of them with skulk sensors because I just assume oh, yeah. they're more efficient. Execute if entity mm -hmm. no longer required. So I don't have. Yeah, I don't have uh, the potion effects right now for whatever uh, reason. Uh, they go away when you're in the middle of the fight. Oh. Yeah. Oh, just, watch out! Hey. Oh, oh, that was a that was a supercharged one. Supercharged. <laughs> that was oh, bad. That's great. That was pretty. That was good. It's well, it was lucky. <laughs> um, yeah. So Bracken Pack. Um, how long has it been? Like I, I, I've heard of it. I've heard of the name. Um, but I, oh, I don't think nice. I. Oh, nice. You see that? Or did you do something? Did I miss something? Uh. It. Yeah. Boom. boom. Kind of got him in the gut. Um. <laughs> oh, it's. Curse of binding, never mind. On on what? On the helmet? On the head? On the on the yeah, on the everything. Cause I I got a charge creeper hit. Ah, very nice. Congrats. Um Thanks. yeah. Oh, I do suggest oh. doing saturation because mm. I don't have any food and I am Hang on a second. My hunger. Let's uh let's pretend that I was really you smart at game design and tested this. Definitely tested this as much as uh, as I should have. And here is hat. For sure. Oh. Ow. Oh, I was gonna I was gonna give you carrots. Oh, carrots. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh let's get to safety. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, come back this way. Okay. Okay, yeah, I actually can't even sprint right now. Okay, there you go. Exactly. You're, you would die if that happened. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, and you know I will. Okay, this is my this is my jump. I'm going to I'm going to lead us. We can do this. Oh gosh. Uh hang on a second. I if I know correctly, I think it goes from the lightning goes from platform to platform. So it is deterministic. It's not just random. <sighs> I'm good. Ow. Oh, I almost didn't make that. Me that would have been bad. <gasps> okay. Phew. All right, we're safe. Um yeah, so, so yeah. Go ahead. They uh it's as soon as custom dimensions I think became a thing the Bracken Pack started being a thing. So uh yeah. And they wow. they do some cool stuff like if you dig too deep in the overworld you end up going to the underdark. Right? You'll underdark. be teleported there and if you go too high in the or if you like pillar up or fly high in the overworld, you'll end up in the uh, Aether, the Feywild. Ah, OK. I just wanted to I, yeah. I got I got very hopeful because, you know, how everybody wishes for that, like heaven dimension, like Minecraft has this. Yes. Well, you know, there is. If you go above the Feywild, you'll end up in Pax, which is essentially the heaven dimension. Cool. Um, it is peaceful. So like if you try to shoot anything there, your arrows will disappear. You have like weakness 10 or something like that. And you have like hum uh, health boost a bunch. So it's essentially like uh, the dimension is trying to keep you alive. You have to try to die. <laughs> Challenge accepted, by and the way. <laughs> I don't even think you could. I don't know. Uh, cool. I love that I idea. Huh. And so, like, I love the idea of there isn't just like a portal that you walk through. You just kind of you just kind of ascend or descend, kind of like Terraria. Yep. OK, are you ready for this? I am ready. Yeah. Wait a second. Hold on, because uh, those these lightning. OK, those lightning should be done now. So now it's just con concentrate to the center. So it should be a little easier for us to get across. OK. Yeah. I am scared. As long as we make the jump. Uh... <laughs> I was so, close. There you go. And then just get the corner. OK, we're good. <laughs> so this There's is where a... you died last time. Um, yeah, I think I was lazy or maybe not. I'm not sure what to call it, but I think they go first platform, second platform, third platform. Yep. So you're you're in the right cadence right now. Ooh. Here we go. OK, I did it. Ooh. Oh, oh, no. Did you die? Did well, you die? No, I, I you're f I. Well, no, everybody died. No, nope, maybe not. What happened? Yeah, it reset. So stay there. 
Um, <laughs> I'll be able to help you from here, though. Yeah. Well, what happened was, um, I think you got to the platform, and it took chat can confirm this oh um, no and it took my it took my buffs away so i don't think i could have made that last jump <laughs> that's so funny now i i need to i need to rewire some of these quests i think um jeez okay oh thanks for the help that's actually oh that's awesome yeah yeah i'm, right. I'm really good with the bow too i would trog bridge over there if i could but when we get back to survival okay. i'm gonna have to see what this trog bridge is like what i mean what are we talking about here <laughs> it's the dumbest way to make a bridge ever but it looks amazing is it specific to skyblock i mean well it's bridging over anything really but yeah for the guess, most part it's skyblock so you would be doing that a lot so obviously you you would come up with something okay it's not yeah. just slabs i mean I, i'm so curious I mean, now it is it, it, it can be just slabs it, oh it's not block dependent it's the way you place them Oh my gosh, I, it's like a, there's yeah. like a dance with it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that was really close, by uh, the way. I don't know if you did. You <laughs> I made it. Yeah, I saw that. I did made you have it. more uh, questions? I do. Um, yes. So Raven uh, Ravencraft is that right? That was the S and P. Raven S and P. Raven yeah. S and P. Raven S and P. So was but that we did call it Ravencraft. Okay. I think. I feel like there were so many like slash craft like it's just the way that you it's just the yeah. way that people talk about their servers as they are the name their server hermitcraft you have um th were there any other smps that you you played on since raven ravencraft yeah uh okay. we i made a it, uh we played a few worlds without um without doing youtube stuff i started to want to do a youtube series thing again and i was getting into cinematic mm. uh replay mod stuff as well so oh wow you have the whole horde on you i'm All afraid i'm gonna shoot you <laughs> yeah i'll get out of the way there you go have adam <laughs> i'm chewing him down but um, uh yeah, yeah it was called chrono breach smp and it had to do with the lore that t-rev and i have kind cool. of going with each other in every series that we we have going um and we decided to branch it off into like a multiverse type thing um where t rav and i are always falling into pretty much the same pattern of of whatnot um but oh i oh. did hit you i'm so sorry hey over <laughs> oh. there <laughs> oh. i heard okay. the ding i got another right helmet Ooh, it's actually pretty good oh, too really? protection nice. for oh curse of binding well all right i guess it's mine now um Okay, please, uh, yeah, please continue while I look for this arrow. Yeah, so we called it Chrono Breach, and we wanted to do a full storyline thing with it and, and whatnot, where, like, the evil me from the Tempest box was trying to get in, uh, or was trying to, like, get into the Chrono Breach world. Um, mm -hmm. We made a few videos, I think two, but we realized pretty quick how time-intensive it is to write a script have people voice act it, get footage for said oh. thing. And yeah, it was more like uh, more like an actual cinematic for that. But we did do an SMP alongside that where we played and it was kind of a fun thing um, between both of those. That's so cool. And one thing that you really mentioned um, that we haven't talked about is, you know, I took a lot of inspiration from the way that you use replay mod, like so extensively, mm -hmm. you know, in your videos. Like, <gasps> no. You have to. <laughs> oh, no. I can do this. Oh, you uh, gotta, you gotta, you gotta cheat it. I think I, I think I do, but I don't, I don't actually. Okay, I do know how. I can make it faster. Um, okay. yeah, I know how. I know how. Sorry, chat. I'm a cheater. You gotta cheat it. Oh wow, you really, really, really came in there. I think it may <laughs> have actually canceled the fight. <laughs> <laughs> hold on a second i know how to not in survival <laughs> uh, yeah i have to cheat correctly um okay how many deaths is this oh no don't start the counters again there's another one <laughs> what <laughs> while, I, while it's hey, don't worry about it it's the first okay. jump. It gets, so while, uh, while they, i want to talk a little bit about your use of replay mod and just like what got yeah. you into it because you've been using it for a long time too like another mm -hmm. thing that you kind of were using before a lot of people were it seems Call like. of Duty. What? Uh, Black Ops Two. 
was the first game to have a cinematic replay recording thing for every game, like an overview thing. And I would watch this one person who did ninja stuff, which <laughs> literally was like not playing the objective, hiding <laughs> next to the bomb for search and destroy. Okay. And then when somebody on the enemy team planted the bomb, he just went up and defused it like well laying right there That's or he'd awesome. follow people. And it was a lot. Of, it was very funny. And I really took a mm. lot of like, I tried to do that um, very early on. And I uh, I kind of learned some stuff from that in like camera movements and whatnot. And also in high school, one of my favorite classes besides sociology and computer science was uh, cinema, uh, literature of the silver screen, screen, a.k.a. like cinematography class. Mm hmm. Um, so I learned what certain camera movements mean, what it like, how to portray different moods based off of like audio alone or hmm. like when to use whatever shots and stuff. And I, as soon as I had the ability to do that in Minecraft or like to apply that knowledge, I try to, and I'm actually for the finale of season one of basically modded. I'm trying to add a lot more cinematic stuff because it's a special episode. When so, is the finale? Is that the next episode? That's the next episode. No yep. kidding. Well, so if next episode is the finale, then what's after that? Season two in ah, a few months, maybe. Okay. And you've already started to look at the mod packs? Yes, for sure. The biggest one that we're that I kind of say we, we have to have is Manic, hmm. which uses shaders. Oh, uh, in, in a data you, pack. That's, it's vanilla. And it uses shaders to Ooh. render the mobs and you do full animations without having to use a bunch of commands on different things. That guy, I shot somebody and they have thorns. So just be careful. Oh, gosh. The person in the back. OK, I'm just going to eat a couple carrots. <laughs> um, shaders can now happen in just resource packs, right? Or data packs. Is that in resource packs Amazing. and data packs can control it? Wow. I had, I had, so, yeah, because I saw Legitimus actually had a video on that, and I just, and yeah, now, exactly. Yeah. Ouch. Okay, cool. Um, so it is, so the mood of that data pack, like, uh, is insane. I did a little bit of playing with T Rav on it, and it's about going insane from lack of sleep <laughs> and whatnot. It's essentially like a, a better Phantoms thing mm. mechanic, and you start to go. Uh, insane or your sanity meter goes down and once it's at the bottom of the sanity meter you start hearing things this sounds like don't starve a little bit yes it is don't it that was the like a very heavy inspiration was don't starve i love don't for starve. uh for this person who made the data pack very cool but you, monsters will start showing up when your sanity goes all the way down. You'll start hearing things that don't actually exist because there's a play sound for a specific player. Mm -hmm. So when T-Rav and I were testing some stuff out, I was like cowering in the corner in the cave. Like, what was that? What was that? I was like, like swinging my sword at something that didn't exist. And T-Rav was like, I don't hear I don't anything. see it. That's so oh, cool. Oh, also here, take this. What's that? Oh, a totem. Thank you. Uh, Yes, thank you. Perfect. Do you have one? You do. Yeah, I do. Wonderful. Okay. Oof. That's so that's such a cool mod. So I imagine you guys are going to work that into the lore like you are going to slowly Oh, for sure. I already I asked I asked the creators uh so Yeah, I know I am in a uh, Discord with some of the creators of um both Floorcraft and uh Manic and whatnot. So I um Oh gosh. I asked them how I could potentially like connect lore and stuff and they gave me more in-depth things than what they probably had ever like told other people she was very excited to talk about it but every she's like i don't know how you're gonna fit it in though i'm like i'll make cool. it work awesome i don't i, I don't want to have any spoilers for the audience here yeah, but no. that sounds like it's going to be amazing that sounds so cool are you are you uh by the way are you ready to to end this year finish this yeah all i can say is have your totem in your hand and stand very still 
I can't. Oh, right. Uh. Okay, now it's stand in my hand. Still. I'm good. Just stand still. Don't stand near okay. me. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look up. I have the second totem ready. Good. <laughs> He's like charging up his uh. super attack. And there we go. Ah, nice. I'm in your brain. Wow. Oh Whoa. my gosh. I'm sweating. That was I'm legitimately. A lot of fun. <laughs> I like that. It's a big show. Yeah. Uh, stage bosses. Um, I'm. Uh, thank you. We got to congrats because the server gets a message whenever someone beats the quest. Yeah. So you get boots of Belial, which are feather falling ten. They're they're pretty awesome. Um, and wow. then uh, spell catalyst, which is used to purchase some stuff, which we can go take a look at if you want. Um, yeah. Sure. And then, uh, and let's see, I just want to take a quick look at comments because I was unfortunately being very negligent in order to uh, very, move move yeah, things along. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll head we'll head this way. Okay. <clears throat> and now we have enough of the Belial's feathers to buy a pass to get down to the Citadel. Cool. So, yeah, so we're going to head that way. Let's take a look. Lots of GGs. That was sick. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, we, we're good at this game. Yeah, um, sure. Yeah, Very we're good. professionals. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we get the pass from Mila. Nope, not Mila. Um, from, not Tessa, from Psalm? Psalm, Sky Pass. Seven deaths, of course. Thank you, chat. <laughs> Somebody was, <laughs> they, they have to. They of always course. do. They always do, and I love them for it. Um, okay, let me just see. De uh, Devin, okay, I'm going a little high up the chat, so apologies, I was not paying attention. Lots of Fs. There's a five, six, and seven. Those are my deaths. Devin's desk says uh, that what in response to Call of Duty for me, because you said Call of Duty inspired replay mod, and I'm like, where is this going to go? Um, no, no, no. From Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. You you immediately were like, wait, what? It <laughs> was very had, unexpected, oh. right? That's yes. just how... That was the age where I was like, yes, mm. shooters are the coolest. Uh, I, I also like Minecraft, but shooters are the coolest. My, and, I agree. My problem was multi the multiplayer aspect, and I'm way too competitive, mm -hmm. so I would just get too angry. Um, yes. Well, that uh, was, yeah. yes, that is one reason that I don't do that. Uh, I don't play. Anymore. Uh, now it's just. Yeah, this, yeah. No, no, no. Now it's just Skyblock. It's just you just in Skyblock. the world. Okay. Um, okay, yes, so the way this fast travel system works oh, is oh, oh. you have to throw your uh, your pass right here. Um, oh, onto the red, okay. Oh, yes. right, uh, yes, here, you can take my ticket. Yep, and then you get it back, he spits it back out, and now oh, you have to go you. into the balloon, and I'll uh, I'll see you over there. Bye-bye, enjoy your flight. Thank you. We actually have, um, there's one fast travel system where you get in a oh, car. Oh, wow. Are you, uh, oh, I'll go over there. And, uh, and the cart actually has, like, there's a travel time and everything. You, like, uh, you're, like, there's, like, a conversation and all that. So this is how cool. you get back to, uh, to Cloud's Rest is you have to kind of head over here. And, and since you have skipped a couple quests, uh, I don't know if there's a way for you to get home. <laughs> there might be. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll get you home. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, so that's the Citadel that we were in not too long ago. Did somebody put something on the top of it? There's a tree up there. That's new. I don't know <laughs> what. <see> <laughs> uh, there's another mod um, on the there's on the server. My community knows him quite well. His name is Durd, and uh, he he likes to do shenanigans like that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Right. So uh, yeah, I'll just we'll just uh, well I'll show you around, and then um, we're getting at about the mark here, and it's get I know it's getting late for you, so. We'll probably I'll just show you a little bit and then maybe we'll uh we'll wrap this up. But uh got to show you Trog bridging as well. Yes, let's go do that right yeah. now actually. Um this is the arena so you can actually there are you can fight monsters here. Um you can earn tray and uh there's this whole like uh interface to pick the monster that you want to fight and the arena that you want to fight them on. Oh cool. Uh and it's very incomplete. <laughs> Obviously. Hey, there's a lot of question marks but it's very cool. I like that. It's going to be, yeah, I'm going to probably fill it out in an episode. Um, so, uh, night, funny bee. So let's um, let's head back to the survival lands. And the fastest way to get there is follow me. We're going to take the submarine. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's another fast travel on the server. I love it. Um, let's see. Once So once you defeat, or uh, I guess rid Al of the dark magic, um, he becomes good again. 
and uh, he opens the world back up to, uh, or opens the deep back up to the world. And obviously, the deep find out that the citizens of Cloud's Rest, you know, were, are gone, and like their family was there, and they get very mad. So there's actually my next quest after the one I'm working on is Cloud's Rest Part Two, where uh, the citizens of Cloud's Rest rise up against Belial and destroy him with an AI powered super weapon. Um, so I can't wait for that. Yeah, spoilers. Sounds awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Okay, so here's our sub, and this sub you're allowed to use once you've beaten the deep. Um, and so you can, but you can still use it too. Uh, I think I can get you in here. I can sneak you in. Uh, oh. Um, hold on. <laughs> Go on in. <laughs> Is that a creative mode plunk I heard? Uh, no, no. Of course there. not. Ooh. It's closed. Yeah. And uh, that's just the quarters back that way. And these subs are all over the world. And so once you beat the deep, you unlock this fast travel ah, system. Right, because they come up and yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and so now they're like, they can navigate all throughout the world. And so area not unlocked, that's the smart way of saying I didn't do it yet. But we have the deep, uh, Crescent Bay, and the arena. So the closest to the uh, middle of the adventure donut is Crescent Bay. So I'll send you that way. And then uh, if you go through that room, and you stand on the pressure plate in the control room, it'll send you off to Crescent Bay, and I'll be right behind you. Ooh. Horn. I love it. I love all the sound effects and the everything. Um, um, help. Maybe it's because you probably haven't beaten it. Here, come back out, and I'll, uh, I'll step on it. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Man, I really put a lot of protective... Over I'm yeah. an overly protective moderator. Hey, you said that everybody likes to cheat, and Jeez. I was trying to cheat at the same time. So. I don't blame you guys. I don't blame. I, I would do it, too. Um, okay, let's head up. I want to see this trog bridge. That's a great way to uh, that's a great way to close off the episode. So let's all aboard. Where should we go? Okay, come on up. There you oh. go. We're good. No, thanks. <laughs> Make sure you replace it. Uh, it. It should kind of replace itself, but yeah, it should it should replace itself. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, and then uh, let me get a boat out, and we'll head back to the spawn area. Right behind you. I'm already going. Where you're going? The you're going towards the next quest. Oh, am I? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, there's a boat. You gotta yeah. gotta go towards the boat. Yeah, I, I can give you a peek. Um, this is the quest. I'm considering running with Devin, um, but we'll see. I have to think about it. Um, but this one is modeled after RuneScape, which is that game that I told you that you should never play. Because you'll mm -hmm, never mm -hmm. leave. Um, never but yeah, not play it. Pirates, and uh, it's kind of silly. It's a very silly quest. There's a lot of, a lot of humor elements, and uh, there's a giant ghast called Bumblebee um, that lives in a giant <laughs> boat nice. ghast hive. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so, so yeah, I guess. Have, oh, go ahead. You have more that you haven't uh, asked on your list of questions. Ooh, all right, let's see. We're towards we're towards the bottom because we had so much fun tonight oh, that we good. went over. Oh, uh, wow. We know we've been streaming for two hours and 16 minutes, by the way. Yeah. I, so I apologize for keeping you late. It was a lot of fun. Um, no, it's okay. But uh, yeah, so there's a couple of episodes in the Basically Modded series that I just want to say really inspired me. It's not really questions. Um, but uh, the first one was fighting the last great evil in that data pack boss that you guys were fighting was just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, it's super, super cool. I, um, the creator of that one, Hash is her name. She, um, she's amazing. Her, she's so creative and, and everything. I can't wait for her to make other bosses because she, like floorcraft doesn't have it she also made floorcraft and some other stuff but mm -hmm. yeah you well we're gonna fight the actual last great evil for the the finale finale so oh my gosh everybody yeah. stay tuned for that and what i'm yeah. what, I, what i i suggest we do here is the way to close this out is you should if you can trog bridge while you plug anything that you want to plug twitter new things coming out okay. whatever does that does will that work yeah. Okay. But I you assume you need blocks. I do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, full blocks, half slabs. What are we talking here? Uh, I'll do. I could do full blocks. Okay. All right. This is it. 
Everybody, you're going to watch something that's never been seen on my bridge. channel. Chog, Chog advertising time. And apparently I need to ask about Lethal Warp. Okay, let's see this thing. Here we go. Wait. Oh, oh, right, right. Lethal Warp. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, um, Lethal Warp is a hardcore SMP that's set kind of, um, it's, it's kind of like a, uh, a hardcore, uh, it is a hardcore server for, um, uh, I'm, I'm really focusing on this truck bridge, I'll tell <laughs> you. Happened? Uh, it's really, it's a truck bridge, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's uh okay, so that was all of all of the blocks, but um Do you need more? Is this I mean it just keeps like I just keep going that way. Um <laughs> so imagine you're playing Sky Wars or or um mm -hmm, sorry, mm -hmm. not Sky Wars, Bed Wars or yeah, something sure. like that. And uh your enemy has this bridge bridging yep. out to diamond. Yep, yep, yep. Um everybody gets really, really uncomfortable. Huh. And they will try to attack you last because they're just really uncomfortable because then <laughs> they'll try to bridge or they'll run around. And it, yeah, it's have you ever uh, heard? OK, there's the question of who would win in a fight, the smart guy or the crazy guy? And the answer is every time the crazy guy. This yes. this is it. When I see this, I'm like, what is this person doing? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it just winds around and goes back and forth Don't and it's a, a huge crazy waste guy. of blocks but it's, <laughs> it's great yeah so yeah yes. lethal warp is a hardcore uh server that um it gets harder and harder as uh as it progresses and it's mm. for the bracken pack so it has all the different dimensions and stuff cool. and spells and whatnot so um Hopefully next season I'll be recording it. Um, I didn't last time because there was might have died a little early. But <laughs> what I thought you're like a professional at parkour. Oh yeah, for surviving. Sure. But uh huh, totally. Uh, I it was a it was an Enderman actually. No, oh <laughs> I, you me. know I don't yeah, blame yeah. you. I don't Those blame are you. The worst. Oh, okay. that, I'm sorry. Okay, plug. So, yes. So plug my stuff. Um. I'm Dr. Trog. I have the uh, my own Discord server at Skyblock for official. It's in my uh, my YouTube channel, which is also Dr. Trog in the description and whatnot. You can find me on Planet Minecraft as well with all my maps and stuff. Um, and I I think that's really it for right now. That's that gets everything. Those are my main stuff. I stream every Friday, so I'll be streaming tomorrow night um around this time actually uh and i usually do for like three or four hours so yeah and it's a lot yeah. of fun and uh definitely try to bring up more superheroes that trog incorrectly pronounces so that no. i can come up with lore trains um i just need the inspiration so thank you for that mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome well uh guys we have the sun setting or rising behind us so it's a perfect opportunity for me to just kind of we'll face and we'll just say Thank you, everybody, so much for stopping by. For those of you who stuck around to the whole stream, thank you for being here. Um, and Zombie, T-Rav, I'm so glad you showed up. I, I hope maybe at some point I can get you on uh, an evening with Avid, and maybe we can do something silly, too. But uh, everyone, thank you so much for being here, and I guess I will, uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, see ya.